Hello, hello, hello. My name is Kevin, also known as Dirty Twenty Gaming. Uh, these are my friends, and this evening we are going to play for you some Iron Swarm. There we are. When I finally hit the transition button, you guys were looking at a screen, and now there's another screen that's actually got people on it like it's supposed to have. <laughs> so, there's an auspicious start. <laughs> Let's start by introducing the co-creators of this game. I call them that because nobody's running this game. We're all putting it together as we go along. So sitting in the box next to me, uh, Ms. Robin playing Caridwin. On the bottom row just below me is Austin playing Gear. And all kitty corner from me down in the far end is Karis Sophia playing Amala. We are playing these characters in the game of Iron Sworn, which is a co-op. The version we're playing is the co-op version of that. Uh, the author is Sean Tompkin. Uh, they have an excellent Discord page. You should go and look it up. They're incredibly helpful. Uh, also, we're going to be using for our virtual tabletop tonight, those of you that don't recognize it, uh, it is Roll20. And uh, with uh, along with that, we're using uh, the tabletop audio within that to provide our ambience for this evening's game. Um, also, the character sheet in Roll20 I wanted to talk about because it's put together by somebody who you can go and meet over at the Discord channel. Uh, Ethan put together this sheet. He's adding stuff all the time. And uh, there's uh, what we've been begging for is the moves to be added to this sheet that has been approved, and he's in the process of doing it as we speak. So by next week, there will be even more on that uh, Oracle's page that can simply be clicked on instead of having to be looked up. So there's that. Um, having said, talked about this ambience, I should probably put some music on. Let's do something thematically consistent here. Let's make it windy and miserable. <laughs> All right. So with that, um, the last time we were... Oh, just before I start, one more thing I wanted to talk about. You may have noticed some additions to the overlay. Uh, there's now these little bars beside us, and they've got letters and numbers in them. Uh, the numbers obviously are our stats. The letters, uh, if you need a, um, a key, are at the bottom of the page. Edge, Iron, Heart, Shadow, and Wits. And those are all going to be either a 1, a 2, or a 3. And that's the basic stats the whole game is based on. So we figured we'd show you those and tell you what they meant. So, last time. Last week. Uh, gear... I think it's fair to say, got a hint that will help him complete one of his vows, but he needs to earn the information, so we're going wolf hunting. Caridwin got an obscure reference that should help her find her long-lost brother, so after we kill wolves, we're off on a cross-continental journey to help her. Amala got in trouble and has decided to leave her circle uh, and her mentor, possibly endangering her most cherished vow. And Bill managed to avoid his future, his past, and any and all of his vows completely. He also volunteered to be bait <laughs> for the wolf hunt. So good and bad for him. <clears throat> so with that, let's head back to the Bronze Age and see what happens to our vow takers. We ended the last episode with what may be the worst hunt failure in history. <laughs> so why don't one of the two people who was there tell us exactly what happened? I'd like to clarify, this is the worst hunt that nobody will ever hear about. <laughs> <laughs> And yet, the two of you who are fighting for dominance witnessed it. So the the magnificent hunter which that one? is Caridwin. Oh, okay. 
had a pretty good shot at, at our quarry, this this deer that we were hunting. And Gear being the knuckle-headed person he is, not wanting to share the glory, tried to get ahead of her and make the kill himself. Mm -hmm. In doing so, he put himself in between this deer and the magnificent hunter, mm -hmm. and such got himself shot. Uh, where, where, where about, where, whereabouts was that shot? Um, <laughs> I don't remember mentioning that actually. No, it was uh, it was in his rear haunches, actually, ah, in his backside, so to speak. Yes. Yes. In his back porch. Ah, there we go. And I believe. <laughs> yes, and I believe yeah he had some difficulty removing it on his own, and so said great hunter had to n come over and remove her own arrow, if I remember correctly. Like any team player, yeah. had to lend some assistance in the removal of such arrow. Understood. So I imagine a conversation probably ensued after that. So why don't we start there? <laughs> And so, as soon as the arrow comes out and Gear is able to find his legs and stand up, he kind of moves over and looms over the top of Caridwin and kind of cranes his neck to get down in her face. He goes, what was that? You're asking me what was that? Did you see it? It got away. Because of you. I asked you along on this to help me. And you end up shooting me. You're the one that ran in front of my shot. You knew I was there. And now we have to return to the village empty-handed. Great. What were you doing in the... What were you doing jumping out like that? It was hidden behind the tree. You didn't see it? I I had it pinned. It was exhausted. I could have taken it down. Then why didn't you? Because I thought you were a better shot. Excuse me. It's my fast reaction that made it so I didn't hit you somewhere more important. Oh, so you were aiming somewhere more important then? Yes, at the deer. <laughs> and at this point, Gear, clearly losing this fight, will turn his head completely around away from her and mutter over his shoulder. Then we find something else to lure out the wolves tonight. Very well. And she will move faster and walk ahead of Gear. Oh, making him push his stride with his ripped up butt. <laughs> Good thing, too, because he's going to be nursing that thing all the way back. He doesn't <laughs> want her to see. <laughs> so our, our hunters return empty-handed and one of them with a limp. Uh, and, um, yeah, you guys come back into town. Uh, um, Is it dawn what? yet? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's probably a well probably. few hours because we've probably been out tracking this deer for a while. Yeah. And we got up at the... You were out before dawn. dawn. Yeah. And yeah, so... you were out before dawn. There's a good chance that we would run into at least Amala doing her morning routine. On your way back, yeah? Yeah, yeah Bill would probably still be sleeping. <laughs> so probably two or three dozen feet ahead of gear into the circle of the uh, of Kinheim. It, it maybe takes, yeah, 15 or 20 seconds behind Caridwin's entrance that, that gear shows up. <laughs> Caridwin okay. is angrily muttering about how she's going to have to get the arrow fixed and how wait, uh, <laughs> uh, she's a knucklehead, knuckleheaded your pelvis chip this arrowhead, you idiot. <laughs> <laughs> My fault, your ass. 
Well, so let's see what the crows tell me before you get back to the. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yes, give us a. Mm. Uh... So at dawn, I'm up and I say good morning to the sun. And I come out and I send out my thoughts to call the crows. And I bring them, bring out some food for them and scatter the food and just sort of soak the morning in. And I know there was something I wanted to ask them today. I remember saying to Bill that I knew what I was going to ask the crows, but I slept well and I had dreams and now I just don't remember. (laughs) Oh, well. So, crows, tell me, what what does the day bring to me? Give us a roll. Okay, and let me see if I remember how to do this. This is auger, right? Shadow plus... Yes, yeah, roll uh, plus wits. Oh, wits. plus wits, okay, yeah. My stuff's mostly wits. Good. Lena's mostly shadow, I'm mostly wits. Right. Okay, so I roll plus wits. <laughs> Which I do where? Oh, here. No modifier. Ooh. A okay. very strong hit. A strong hit. It is a helpful omen. Yes. It is a definitively helpful omen. So I wonder what they told me. So tell us a story. What do the crows tell you? Hmm. Do they see success in our future? Maybe something to come of this creature that scared the wolves? So the crows are chattering about how bare the forest was as they came to me this morning. They're chattering to me about the lack of animals and how quiet it is. And there's no squirrels for them to pester and there are no wolves for them to laugh at. And they're just very complaining. And they comment that there is something in the river that is driving everyone away. Ooh. And they're sitting here chattering about that. And I start thinking about it. There's something in the river. I wonder what there is in the river. Hmm. And I kind of expected as soon as I finished that question to remember what the question was before, but it didn't turn out that way. So it must not have been important. And maybe I'll ask you the first tomorrow. Uh, I have an important question. Oh, I love the way her brain works. It's wonderful. Do these crows say anything about two hunters in the woods this morning? Uh, well, one of them gave kind of an evil cackle, but they didn't actually say anything. <laughs> And, you know, they're frequently laughing at me. They think I'm very amusing and, and naive in the questions I ask. So I just assumed they were laughing at me. <laughs> you, I'm sure you, I will figure out differently the, when they come back. You don't notice uh, that one when, of them was... Is it, sir, go ahead. Limping? <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, one would fake limp and then look at the other one and they'd both... Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't really notice no. that, no, because it didn't mean anything to me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, and so I'm, I'm having my morning commune with the crows. Is the two as the two of you come in, or do you come in at later after breakfast? Uh, no, probably before then. It's probably not too terribly late in the morning. Yeah, we uh, so you yeah, for it's probably just about after. Like, <laughs> <laughs> it's probably like just about after you finish your ritual and you're just like settling down to do whatever else. And then like you know, Carolyn storming out, like muttering about gear, the gear behind her for a little bit. And, and the here. crows sort of, and the crows chatter as they fly past you. On their mm-hmm. way away. They fly right over Caridwin. Gear, however, two feet taller, is just assaulted by these. Crows. <laughs> <laughs> All of them laughing as they fly by. <laughs> oh man, I'm gonna start crying. They've <laughs> <laughs> already started <laughs> laughing so hard. It. Okay, the, so. the split second the porridge starts to bubble and get warm, uh, that's when Bill appears. <laughs> or is that breakfast? And just right over and grab a bowl and a spoon, like this is his village, just feeding up. Body not even out of the tent, just like, yeah. Hey. 
<laughs> the first bubble popped and he smelt it. Just like, we're here. And so nursing his ego gear kind of wanders into the circle clearly carrying no spoils of the hunt mm -hmm. walks over and plops his ass down by the fire ow carefully <laughs> on a donut perhaps <laughs> good morning uh didn't weren't you going hunting this morning yes looking back and forth between the two of you well done, well done. You don't see invisible deer every day. <laughs> Back to eating my porridge. Oh, that's very impressive. Did you really catch an invisible deer? No. The spoon kind of clatters out. against the wood where he looks to see if she's serious or not. <laughs> <laughs> of course I'm all as serious, but I'm all as players having trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know we had invisible deer in Kinheim. <laughs> well, you never seen one before, would you? <laughs> well, that would ex possibly explain why all the animals are disappearing, though I wonder why they're silent as well as invisible. There was a complication. <laughs> There's oh, nothing to be hunted around here. The crows were chattering about that this morning. They said there's something in the water that's driving the, the animals away. Something in the river that feeds into the, the pond and the lake over that way. On top of the wolves? They didn't say anything at all about wolves this morning. Some in the river that's affecting wolves. Well, I know what that would be. Although, you know, I asked them what today would bring, and that was what they were talking about, was the water and the animals. They didn't say anything. Oh. We were going wolf hunting today, weren't we? And But they didn't say anything about the wolves. I wonder if we'll find wolves. Mechanically speaking, I think you get two momentum for your strong hit. Or at least one. On that auger. Ooh, plus two momentum. Yes, yeah. thank you. Where do I put We're going to need that. We're going to need that. Yeah. Momentum oh. left side of the front page. There's a, uh, a stack ooh, brings tower. Up to four. Yeah. And so, thank here you. we'll say, what kind of creatures does Kinheim have in its water? What's big enough to Fish? scare a pack of wolves? Uh... Fish mostly. Maybe Some it's insects. not a creature. No, something not natural. No fish can scare a wolf. Maybe a big fish. If we can find this thing, whatever it is that scares the wolves, we will no longer have to hunt and kill them because they will return to their old hunting grounds. They will no longer be preying on the livestock of this town, of this this circle what if it's something toxic i mean we have a well here but that you know if there's something in the river that could affect our water supply it's possible it would be best to look and spend and see what could possibly be there and the hunt should be a bit quicker then because we would no longer have to search the woods we could follow the river oh we just head upstream right yeah, but something has so. to have caused this. Something has to have moved into place here, or just recently happened. Because the wolves are a new occurrence, are they not? Oh, I, we didn't. I didn't know anything about wolves. Nobody said anything about wolves. I wasn't, and I don't think I would have gone out by myself yesterday if I'd known there were wolves. How long did this farmer say he was having troubles with them? A few days. I was only passing through. I was looking for some information, and I took the job from him. And he wanted me to outright kill them. I told him, it doesn't work like that. Others will come in their place. The only thing I could do was drive them back to their original hunting grounds. And that is when I found this young Skywatcher. If Summit's come here, it's come from elsewhere. If we don't find it today, maybe we go looking for that elsewhere what had it before. And see what they learned. Or maybe we look in where the wolves normally are, because if whatever it was, 
either the wolves were attracted here or the wolves were driven here from somewhere else. And so it's whatever's taken their place in their place. That sounds redundant. So we have breakfast and we go out. We find this thing. Whatever it is. We let it come after me. Check out the river. We let it come after me and the two of you take it out, yeah. Are you quick enough to get away? It looks like I'm the only bait we got. Well, well, we I don't ain't even know quick. what it is, so I we don't know. Smart. <laughs> we don't even know if you are appropriate bait. We don't know what it is. That's true, that is. Maybe we'll I size up him. Bill. <laughs> yeah. This little dude, man. Little scrawny little yeah. dude wearing pelts and bits of cloth and Looks gear will stringy. say something along lines of if this thing is chasing away wolves and preying on them, it can prey on him as well. Although I... he'd probably be a Do bit you... chewy. I I, I, I hope I'm a right bit wolves? smarter than a wolf though. When when you followed the wolves, were they acting norm uh, normally other than being out of their their normal place? No, they were ragged and emaciated. You could see their ribs. Oh. Would you prefer to be bait here? I don't think they'll hunt me, even if I am wounded. Wounded? Why are you wounded? Since when are you wounded? Since someone shot me this morning. This morning? <laughs> Since someone you run need... in. Do you need bandages? I, I can go get some salve. I, I pull out a day old carrot and just wordlessly <laughs> hand it to Carradwin. <laughs> take it and throw it again. Oh. <laughs> I was offering you a prize. <laughs> <laughs> this this gigantic man that has a carrot bounce off of his chest and hit the ground. No physical damage. No, but the hit to his ego of oh, being yes. assaulted with a carrot. <laughs> yep. I like to think you leaned into it and in, do in so doing rolled onto the the ass wound. Is like, mm -hmm. yeah. So it and like this it whole conversation, he had been yeah. like. Like, <laughs> <shifting>. <laughs> yep. If you hadn't jumped in front of my arrow and had heeded your advice to Bill, you wouldn't be injured. Advice to Bill? He advised him to stay away from the pointy end. <laughs> yeah, that's right, he did. See, Bill? He was right. <laughs> oh, I see that. Good go advice sad. he gives, too. He just don't follow it. And I get up and go to get some sound and some bandages. So you know where this uh, these wolves, they were denning? No, I, I was only following them after a hunt. I, I chased them into the morning. They were looking for something, some food. They stumbled upon the young one, the shaman. Well, I couldn't very well let her get eaten. No. It's, but if they're that the hungry, then maybe they'll eat me. Or try to, at least. You'll be fine. If you know that I think about it, you, them two rabbits you dropped on me yesterday, I had them in my pack half an hour. I believe I, uh, Smell like meat. Hmm. That may work to our advantage. Well, are I we wonder... hunting wolves or are we hunting things in the river? If the wolves have moved on, then the river seems to be more of a priority. But it's possible whatever is in the river is at the source, and that could be in the mountains. Hmm. No, we... We're not hunting the wolves. We're hunting whatever has shifted this portion of the woods out of its natural balance. 
this what? thing that's in the river. That's what we're after. So we follow the river upstream until we come to the place where it's all normal beyond it and all messed up on this side. And we start looking. Yeah. Once we get some food in our belly. The porridge is right good this morning. Second bowl. And who is that? Ida is just sitting there at the cauldron with this huge wooden ladle, just like, <laughs> yep, just handing them out to people. And so Gear will grab a big one and just start <laughs> <laughs> until Amala gets back. Yeah, Caradwin will go up and grab one and then sit back down. And... I don't know who have the continuing stare off with gear, I guess. <laughs> not, not breaking eye contact, gear is going to reach down, pick up the carrot, and dip it in the porridge. <laughs> <laughs> Sand and all. Rocks and all. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm going to go over to uh, the shaman's building and how do you knock? I guess you knock on the rock on the mud wall because it's basically well, so just for that. Mm -hmm. Well, it's got a wooden uh, frame. Yeah, oh, okay. It's got before a wooden you frame, go. So yeah. Also, before that, um, so Amala is going in with a bowl for Weena. Okay. And I need to have a conversation with Weena. Okay. Yeah, I will definitely wait till you're done for sure. So, um, I think we know who's playing good. that part, so. So, good morning, Shaman Lena. Here is this morning's porridge. Thank you, and Amala. I, I turn and start digging in some of the shelves and all. What are you looking for? I'm getting some of the wound salve. Um, here, met with an unfortunate accident this morning and has a bit of a wound and I'm just thinking, oh, um, so th this morning with my augury with the crows said that, that, um, well, there, the crows say that there's something in the river and that's what's causing the animals to go away. And so the visitors are thinking to go up river and see if we can find that. And I do think that I should go with them. Wouldn't it be better to send one of the hunters or, you know? Uh, well, but I was thinking if men? I need clarification from the crows that, you know, if I was there with them and I could do the augury again. I can see the sense in that, yes. Very well, just don't stray too far. No, of course not, Lena. And then I'll start heading back out, which is going to be about the time that that Bill is knocking. Yeah, well, oh, I, I would hello. wait until you came out. So I want to. I don't want to be. Okay. You know, I don't want to be a bother. Right? But yeah, I would certainly okay. follow. Oh, so I come out. There you are. Oh, hello. Did you want me or Shaman Lena? No offense, young lady, but I think I'll take the one with a lot of experience for this next question. Absolutely. And I'll head back over to the other two. So knock on the door and wait to be asked in. Come in. Hello, uh, Bill Ardinge, ma'am. Um, I'm wondering, and I might not be right here, but you're, uh, you're a shaman, right? I am. You're sort of in touch with nature and such yes have you noticed any weirdness other than the wolves you must be more specific animals and trees acting like they shouldn't trees no perhaps some quiet in the woods I've heard from my auguries 
nothing too serious, otherwise I would have tried to rectify it, though my apprentice have you must be one of the people she's going with to check out the river. Oh, I am. Oh, I am. We're uh, open for a bit of information, but perhaps, uh, perhaps instead, uh, do you do blessings? Blessings. You know, sort of be safe on your way, sort of thing. I <laughs> um consulting my notes trying to figure out where I put them. <laughs> I the made FBI. notes about what I had been exposed to. Ah, okay. okay. I don't even know if, if such a ritual exists honestly, so I just Oh no. Bill's just scared. Oh no, he said. I don't think I don't think there's anything that you can do to like bolster somebody. Oh no! I, no, I'm not surprised at all. Oh, I know where I put it. I put it in the wiki, <laughs> which is where Maybe my notes. She could go. offer you some kind of um, scrying <laughs> or divination. We know uh. she does scrying, and she does. Let's see. Um, so she definitely has proficiency in bind, divination, scry, and talisman. Okay. Divination would work. Well, he's not really asking for that. He's basically asking for a, a blessing. Right? Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I have an idea. Um, yeah. Well, there's nothing... As far as rituals go, there's nothing I can do for certain. But I can tell you that especially with my apprentice there, you will have the blessing of the auguries and the crows. Right. Not quite sure what that means, ma'am, but thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I'll just get on my way. I'll, uh, do my best to bring her back, ma'am. Oh, you better. Oh. Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. I will bring her back, ma'am. Absolutely, yes. Backing out the door underneath. <laughs> Just a little bit of sweat on running down his brow when he comes back to the fire. <laughs> that, uh... That shaman of yours is quite the personality. Mm-hmm. That's precisely the word oh, I was looking her? for. Oh, I went and had a word. She, she let you in the damn house. <laughs> and then she very quickly let me know I wasn't welcome there and I should leave. <clears throat> so, we're off to the river then, are we? Everybody's had their breakfast? Gears on like his fourth bowl. <laughs> sets it down on the other ones, picks up another one. <laughs> oh, I have the salve and some bandages. Oh, dear lord. <laughs> I don't think I want to watch this. I'll be back. And I head out of town to take care Nobody of Nobody knows where his wound is yet. Uh, no. Except for Cairdwin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just don't want to watch her. I don't care where it was. <laughs> so, yeah, um, I took feet out for his morning constitutional. Um, So there is a move that you can use to heal somebody else. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to roll wits, if you're applying this, I will tell the story beforehand to see if this is actually what you want to do, though. So as Amala comes up with this this little clay pot of salve, um, Gear, very unceremonious in his nature, stands up to his full height and just drops the pelts that are wrapped around his waist to the floor. Oh my. Okay. This won't be by far the first or last. Okay, so it's still bleeding. You can see it. No wounds and I in the point front. at it. <laughs> what? Turn around. Oh. 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 Okay. 
<laughs> okay, heal. Is that the right. wits, is it? Yep, it's more wits. I'm good at wits. You you are full of wits. Don't say that before you roll it. <laughs> <laughs> well, but I've got good chances with wits. How about that? Okay. Ooh. Okay. On a weak hit... Uh, I suffer minus one supply or minus one momentum. I don't even know what we have in terms of supply. We're uh, fine because we haven't we all gone share. out of town anywhere. So, yeah, supply we all share. So, And, we're okay. and then you that. can take or give up to two health. So you can give one health for every one supply or momentum that you burn. And you only, only had need, one, right? Yeah, I only need one. Well, so I would give, I would recommend doing one from supply because that's reducing the supply of salve and bandages. And so it fits the story. Yep. Absolutely. So okay, everybody so drop their supply to four. <clears throat> okay. And we will resupply later. Yes. At a later date. Before we leave, I mean, we're just going on a recon mission, right? We're coming back. So. Okay. There, it Ooh. should heal just fine. Careful how you sit. And he kind of tests it out and kind of rubs the flesh a little bit. <laughs> pulls the pelts back up and kind of ties them back around his waist. <sighs> and sits back down on the log. Kind of... Gently, saying, gently. Thank you. <laughs> Austin says thank you. Gear just says... <laughs> 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 Uh, I'm, I'm starting to figure out how to translate that, yes. <laughs> Amala, do you happen to know where the river starts? I don't know. Um, but it's pretty large here, and there's going to be a lot of the creeks or tributaries to it around here. I mean, it's going to be somewhere up in the hills over there, I'm sure. Yeah, I know I'm, what direction it it comes from, but I don't know how far it goes. I was simply wondering if, well, if the wolves came from somewhere else, and if something is in the water, if they were both coming from the same place. Well, I will look over to Gear about that because I don't know where the wolves came from. Gear is popping down like bowl number seven. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Follow the river upstream. We'll find whatever it is, if it truly is there. Well, something is there. We don't know what, but we know something is there. We know what your birds told us. Well, yes, but it's an augury. Hmm. We'll see. It's not just gossip. I mean, they do gossip, but that's not just what this is. Hmm. Well, the nice thing about trouble is you don't often got to go looking for it. It usually comes and finds you. Hmm. Are you done? Pops down that ball, stands <laughs> yeah. up. Are you done, Bill? Yeah, I, I only had four. So. But yeah, there's like put it, uh, porridge in the beard and yeah, on the pelt. All over the pelt, yeah. everywhere. Yeah. It's just somebody his eyebrow. Likes, <laughs> Ida actually likes those with good, you know, good hearty appetites. There's probably some in other places since the pelts were gone, too. <laughs> just covered in Would porridge. Hmm. I don't even think he uses a spoon. He just goes like this. <laughs> I am trying to figure out exactly what move I would use. Would it be face danger, perhaps? I want to um, steal this nice wooden spoon that I've been eating my breakfast with. I want to sneak it into my pack without anybody Ooh. noticing. I don't think that's um, something that you can really make. Well, a it's a face dangerous attempt something yeah. risky. That works for me, right? So, I mean, technically, yeah. With stealth or trickery, roll plus shadow. Yeah, shadow. Uh, and I don't have him to help. I don't have him to help me. So just a straight shadow. Come on, character sheet. Nice, you can do it. There we go. Nice wooden spoon. It's a very nice wooden spoon, and I would like it. It's nicer than my spoon. And when I see things that I like, I take them. So um, you succeed, but are faced a troublesome cost. Choose one. You're delayed, 
You are tired or hurt. You are despirited, or you sacrifice resources. Um, I look up as I'm sneaking in my backpack, and the cruel bastard who runs this village is staring me right in the face. So I finish putting it in the pack, and I take out a um, uh, like a, a carved little wooden carved animal, like a little. Uh, say a little a little, like a little deer yeah like a little deer figurine that i've carved and i put it down where the spoon was on the table like i'm offering a trade <laughs> and he doesn't say anything so i just flipped a pack closed with the spoon inside it <laughs> so yeah i've had to give that up so yeah and oh, busted <laughs> <laughs> He, hey, he may remember it when he comes back. Yeah. Remember, you play that character, so. Yep. Um. <laughs> I like this system. I like yeah. this. It's not either or, right? It's not hit or miss, right? There's a maybe. A little the, of the both. excluded yeah. middle. Yeah. Um, Gear will stand up and look down to a mall and go, where's the river start? Let's go. Well, I just said I don't know where it starts, but it's over. It's right over there, kind of opposite to where you down came. The nice thing about rivers is they're easy to follow. It just turns and begins walking towards it. <laughs> yeah. Noticeably There are some falls. Limping. There, yeah, there are some falls about an hour and a half up. I don't, it, it's a little challenging to climb that. There is a path up, but it's a little challenging to climb up the cliff. Ooh. The trope of it being underneath the waterfall. <laughs> we all went there, every single one of us. <laughs> Everyone's like, oh, oh what's good. hiding in the waterfall? Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> There's always treasure in the waterfall, I didn't too. Go there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a good place to start, then. If I'm not mistaken, what we're looking for is sort of the edge to this... Desic dare I use the word desecrated area. Um, That's a little harsh. I meant no, I meant no injury or harm by it. Um, Caradwin, you're probably going to want to leave your horse here. The path is. Uh, it would be challenging to get him up over some of the areas. I agree. I made some. I talked to someone that Cadell used often to. How's the horses? Oh, perfect. Yep. That makes perfect sense. And uh, Gear is currently walking towards this this uh, river, <clears throat> noticeably trying to hide his limp. <laughs> I'm trying to find what what's going on here. So yes, what? How are we going to begin this search? Oh. So I guess, are we undertaking a journey? We're undertaking a short oh. journey. Wait, do we have? Oh, yeah, totally forgot about see, those. Undertaking a journey. Here we go. Yeah, at the very Travel least, we have, I mean, we have a target, right? It's the a first fairly part's short... not unfamiliar to me. So right. before we do that, before we do that, um, when Gear actually reaches the base of the river, he's going to drop down onto his hands and knees and stick his hand and arm in the river and looking around at the fish and kind of pulling the water up to his nose and giving it a deep smell and tasting it, he's going to try and check for taint and see if there's, uh, if there's something that he can determine that we're dealing with here. Okay, and what yeah. would that... I wonder uh, if he sees fish. What would you call he's that? He's going to try to um, kind of assess what we're, what we're dealing with and see if what what Amala told him is true. So he's so trying to secure an secure advantage. Secure an advantage? Yeah, that makes sense. And let's see here. This is also something that he's pretty decent at. With expertise, insider observation? Uh, yes. Yep, so give us a roll and see what you figure out out and of this. And also with my wild nature and my knowledge of woodlands. Uh -huh. So many bonuses. Oh, still, always with Ooh, the thing. So we don't know. 
Uh, and so, wait. Do you, how much momentum do you he have? Snorts, he snorts <laughs> some of the water and then gets it up his nose. <laughs> <laughs> I have one momentum. <laughs> but okay, so that ain't happening. So we're not. That's not um, fixing this problem. You fail, or your assumptions betray you. Pay the price. Oh, how does I like Gear... this. What did what did, what we, what would what did Gear assume was going on before he got here? He assumed that Amala was wrong. And when he got to the river, he was going to use it as more of a, if this was really tainted, I would be able to taste it. And in his arrogance, pulled up a handful and drank it, and it was actually tainted. And so as he gulps down this thing of water, he immediately begins to just sputter and cough and reaches his hand inside his mouth and pulls out just blood as this liquid has burned the inside of his mouth. So there's no fish. <laughs> oh yeah and a, a quick observation since gear failed to do so reveals down a little ways where the river kind of passes underneath the bridge uh down some ways from the village there are bodies of fish just floating kind of bumping into things that have just holes chewed through them oh my and so as he and just spits out this wad of kind of macerated flesh and blood and Ooh, as looks... we kind of catch up, we probably are catching up with you now because you walked ahead farther yep, away. Yeah, sure. And he just rubs his mouth on his hand and leaves this fat blood streak on his arm. Something is definitely... The salve's not edible. <laughs> Gear, what happened? He's still playing with his lips. The river is tainted. Look, and he shows his gauntlet where just a streak of blood is from his mouth. We already assumed that. What happened? Now we know for sure. It's in the river, somewhere. We just have to follow it to the source. Yes, again, that's information we had before. No, that's Are information you all right? the birds told us. What we didn't know inaugurate. before was how strong it was. This is something we can see and feel. Now we know for sure. Are you all right? I'm fine. Now we know what we're dealing with. Something the people that... of the villages around here drink this water. We gotta fix this. Mala said have they a have well, a well. But, well, we do have a well, but it's, it, I mean, I'm sure it's fed part the old, from ground, but I don't know if the is and older farms around here. Probably not farther away. Everywhere uh, I've ever been, they build all along the sides of creeks and rivers. And use it to irrigate the crops. And This is and more important than we thought it was. If the river comes somewhere even farther north from the mountains, this could string along miles. I think I should run back and, and warn my folks, warn my people. Of course. Bill I'll, reaches I'll up be and back shortly pulls the shovel out from underneath his backpack and you get to finally see the the blade end of it the handle is a wooden circle that's just it's it's all carved out of a single piece of wood so the the shaft comes up and then it's carved into a circle for the handle at the bottom the the blade is a semicircle i don't know if you've ever seen those they're like a gardening shovel like an edging shovel like that but made out of bronze uh, and it looks like the sides used to come up but Fancy. they've been beaten down flat and there's two pins holding that in place into the wooden handle, and they are very clearly iron. There's two, like a nail from each side. And that explains the swearing on the shovel. My my pen blew up apparently. Oh no. So yeah, I, I gotta quit playing with it while I'm doing this. Uh, but yeah, uh, he. I don't his... think Sav takes out ink either. No, it's. I it's, think it's... I think Gear's thinking the same thing that Bill That's is. That's a stress wound. Just it's not a it's not a physical wound. Uh, but uh, yeah, he slides his shovel down in his hand until his fingers are resting on the uh, iron nails, and he says, "This is got to be fixed." No, I guess I'm the one to do it. Well, you're not alone. No, we go together. Whatever this thing is, if it can chase us off packs of wolves, it will take at least the four of us to take it down. Do we need more from the village too? Should I try and get some of the hunters? No. 
Before we know what we're up against, we shouldn't rush to conclusions, cause a stir. This is a travesty to the way of the woods, and it needs to be cleansed. It's going to kill people. We got to fix it. I'm doing this, and I take the shovel and kind of drop to my knees, and with the fingers on the iron pins, I drive the shovel into the ground. This one, I'm doing of my own free will. I will fix what's wrong with this river. And I am taking an iron vow. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow you on this one. Actually, I believe so. This. Actually, is Amala's it? headed yeah. back, so you're doing this yeah. while she's headed back, so that they can start sending word out. Yeah. So it's only the two of you here, having no iron, but knowing the rituals of his ancestors, and already currently bleeding, just licks his hand and rubs it across his face. This <laughs> bloody handprints. Goes, There's iron and blood. You'd know that. Yeah. I will restore this portion of the woods. And he holds his hand out, bloodied and all, for Bill to shake. And yeah, with you. the hand that's not on the on the iron, I just reach up and take. I kind of mm -hmm. overwhelm his hand to just give it a quick shake. Yep. And the bond is set. The the. What's the interesting is these are two the vow different vows. I mm -hmm. vowed to fix the water supply problem. You vowed to, uh, what was specifically the wording? Rebalance, uh, rebalance bring this whole back area, to this yeah, part so, of the woods. Okay. So, so hopefully, at least in Gear's mind, taking out this problem will fix the water, bring the wolves back into place, and on top of you know doing whatever that farmer hired him to do earlier in the game. So what uh, what rank would you say yours is? Oh man! In other words, what we're really asking here yeah. is the creature that we have not yet created that's up here that we're, or creature or event or thing that's up here. How difficult is it going to be for us to overcome in general terms using troublesome, oh, dangerous, formidable, extreme, and epic? As I our would five say this options. has to be either dangerous or formidable. Yeah. That sounds right. I was because it's the first ones we've taken. Why don't we do dangerous? <laughs> well, just Let's because not make it an epic world ender. Well, yet. no. Here's here's the thing. Even with dangerous, you every time you get to a point, you gain you fill two boxes. So you have to get to five points to to finish this vow. But and it's the very first vow we're taking right? in the you very do first do. part of the game. So um, yeah, that, so that's my thoughts. Two boxes per harm, per but you also milestone. do yeah. two harm per attack. So you'll be doing four boxes per successful attack. Oh, I was just using the ranks to rate this. Uh, yeah, yeah, this that's right. Yeah. Vow, if there is the a creature, creature that's, that's the damage it would be doing. Ah, uh, unless we get there and the story says this creature is more dangerous than, or it's than not a creature, but thought. just or the, it's not um, a creature, or yeah. it's a, or it's a something. But this, yeah, so the overall, I, I would say probably both the vows that were just taken would be dangerous. Does that sound reasonable? That sounds reasonable to me. Okay. Ooh, I have to add something to my sheet now. Well, what I was <gasps> thinking is I'm going it, to, it's not going to make change anything in, in a half an hour, so I was just going to put it on a break. But, uh, <laughs> Fair enough. Either way, uh, first in, oh, we got to roll on those. What am I doing? Take a vow is a, is a thing. Um, uh, is yeah, it's. Um, Does it make a vow? Adventure uh, swear, swear, an swear, swear an iron, iron vow. vow. There they are. Because yeah, we got to see how and this goes, also, right? And also forge a bond. Yeah, because you guys are. You two just forged a bond. Yeah, you're absolutely That's a right. Good point. We did. <laughs> that is a very good point. So let's do this vow. Uh, roll plus heart. Really? I have to roll so plus is this, heart. Are since this is simultaneously, we get a. We we're bonded, so we get. Yeah. Well, so if you do the bond roll, let's first, do the bond you... first. If it works, we get the bonus. If it doesn't, yeah. So, so forge a bond. Forge a bond. Uh, plus heart. <laughs> forge a bond. Uh, yeah. Plus heart. Oh boy, I'm not gonna let my stats tell me what I can roll. <laughs> uh, oh, no, 
bonus. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh, you have the momentum though. He does. It, it, it asked me if I. That's interesting. If I, it, it, I didn't say burn momentum. It's just saying if I burn momentum, I can have a weak hit. Uh. Oh yeah. Yeah. We're burning oh, that. Oh, this is perfect. On a weak hit, they ask something more of you. Envision what it is. Or swear. Or a swear vow. an iron vow and mark the bond. There you well, go. you guys are swearing the iron vow. Yeah, yeah. exactly. So it does so the, weak hit, the weak hit is perfect, then. Yeah, perfect. Yeah, so I burned a momentum Except to get to the weak hit. The weak hit makes, yeah, and, this, uh, and then I take the vow to solidify that relationship. Cool. So we can actually so, add a bond as well to each other. Yeah, here is uh, the... Would that be, would you call that a, a one or a two? Probably just a one, we'll right? We'll start with a one. Yeah. yeah we'll see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> I just met you. You're not coming home to meet my parents. Yeah. <laughs> this is weird. I did not expect Bill to be the first one, but. <laughs> oh, that's really cool. Okay, so that is that. Then there's now we got to roll for the vow. The itself, vow, right? So the vow is okay. We hit. Um. There's more to be no, done, or you realize the truth of your. Forge bond, we're done that. Swear oh, wait, that's over on the quest sorry, moves. Sorry. Roll so swear and heart. heart. With more questions than answers. Take one momentum and envision what you do to find a path forward. First, holding Bill's hand. Oh, oh Bill's killing it, nice. right? Nice. We took turns get saving this one. Yeah, so yeah. go ahead. Uh, the first thing that does in order to um, find a path forward, gear is going to help Bill up from his kneeling position if he allows him to. Yeah. I... Gear's strong enough, I doubt. <laughs> well, here's the thing, because I, like, I got the strong hit with an opportunity, right? So I get to really bamf this up. Uh, as you pull him up, uh, I pull my shovel out of the ground and the very bottom of the curve of the shovel has already gone green with verdigris. Ooh. From just that short period of time in the dirt. It, Gone green with what? Uh, v like uh, when uh, brass goes green. It's called oh, verdigris. Okay. Yeah, it just, it oh, literally means the greening. That's... Yeah, it's copper oxide. Uh, it yeah. goes green. So, yeah. Even in just that split second in there. And right away, uh, he, start, he sits down, um, just picks up a rock and starts trying to grind off this greenness. Um, Oh, or that, that didn't take long. That That's way too quick, that is. So, we wait for Amala to get back. We find whatever is causing this. And yeah, I'll cut a little square in the peat uh, beside the river with my shovel and pull it and quickly wipe the, the muck off the shovel so it doesn't do it again. But yeah, when you look in, you can see the peat, but it's it's dead. Peat's supposed to be like organic rotting material. This close to the river, it's actually dead. But not like not a not a good, healthy, composty dead. Like anaerobic, very acidic dead. Interesting. We'll need to move fast. And we need to get this time. before it spreads. So what does um what does Amala do when she reaches the village? probably goes to the headman yeah amala goes to the headman um and there's i mean there's typical protocols for you know things happen in the village you know this the elders get together the elders assign people i i don't really feel the need to role play it out no. they assign people to run to the settlements and yep. then when that's done and you know i let them know we're going to investigate the actual thing and then I'll head back. And so um, it's going to take me about round trip with the explanations about 40 minutes to get back. And I just realized I get two momentum back for making that vow. So make sure you keep track of your momentums when you do all these moves that most of them affect your momentum positively. And as we just saw, it can make a big deal, a big difference. So, Oh yeah. Oh, uh, oh yeah. So so um, the only thing I would add to that was when you first come back into town before he knows that there's an issue, you are treated poorly by this cruel bastard. Is there, what have you done now? Because you come running back into town with like trouble written all over your face and his first response is, what have you done now? 
but you explain to him what's happened <laughs> and he, he softens immediately and yeah sends the runners out to all the other nearby circles and then they'll send runners from there and yours will come back and if they're not back there's even a plan like if they're not back in three days because it's a day to get there and a day to get back and a day of rest if you're not there in three days we send another one because we assume they got you know blocked and yeah mm -hmm. there would be a an emergency plan that would be in place at least with you and the surrounding circles i would assume so the way we built this world yeah, yeah there's trade and whatnot and the so. settlements and the, yeah. yeah absolutely i like that i mean because it's much. a survival yeah. thing in case of natural disasters yeah. or anything like that you know, yeah like one circle is strong or... 10 circles is stronger so yeah absolutely so you fill them in and uh make your way back yeah at the speed of plot you arrive back just as we finish <laughs> making our vow and I can sense the solemnity. Mm -hmm. And quite possibly the bond. That's that's really weird. I did not expect it to be Bill first. No, that's, I, that's pretty to be honest, cool. neither did I. But this moment was like, <laughs> wait a minute, this is because uh, just quickly out of out of character, Kevin speaking to the rest of you. Uh, Bill has no idea what all this vow taking nonsense is about. Like he has never cared about shit ever about anything and all of a sudden lately he has so yeah that's why he's kind of overreacts all this but anyway back oh, in and, and gear has blood a hand oh yeah across. a handprint smeared across his face yeah as is traditional more sap no okay. yeah, shove the shovel back down into the safe place behind my pack where you can't see yeah. that, that it's got a bronze head it's just the shovel handle sticking up feet and ten I come out and say, not now, little one, not now, not now, handsome, and I poke him back in. Well, it looks like we should move upstream. Yeah. You got word to your circles. Mm -hmm. And they're mm -hmm. notifying all the nearby settlements in the next circles out so that they can spread. Word will spread fast. So this, Good. this river is pretty sizable. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. maybe... 25 30 feet across at least yeah not and affordable mm -hmm. certainly yeah and several and several feet deep with and rocks so, yeah. in the middle yeah getting yeah. into it and getting across it is going to be an ordeal um we don't want to get into it it's tainted yeah we don't have to get we want to go up it. on this side i'm just We're, throwing just... that out there <laughs> <laughs> not that i was thinking about doing it or anything there's a there's there is a ford and a bridge about uh i don't know 20 minutes that mm -hmm. way and as we're as we're kind of creeping through the forest, uh, kind of the trees that uh, that wind along this river, um, Gear is going to move to Caridwin and, and say, "You bushwalker, keep your eyes peeled for anything that could give us some kind of hint, any inkling of what we're dealing with." And he's going to try to aid her in in gathering information. Sure. Or securing advantage, whichever she chooses. Yeah, I think I think aid and ally is the the right one for yeah, that. Yeah, I think that's it. And so the last time he tried to aid an ally, though. <laughs> <laughs> you know? yeah. This is what I get for trying to help people. <laughs> double tens, double tens. And he will he will add to that. And don't shoot me. <laughs> Again. but she doesn't know you never confessed it so she doesn't know you were trying to aid her she you never said it oh no oh and he yeah. won't no he won't it's an ego thing so he's never well, gonna, so he's gonna, never so gonna the, admit so it was his not fault shooting me. yeah so the You're saying don't shoot me people? is a complete non sequitur to her yeah yeah i will help show, people? shoot you no. as long as you stay out of my way <sighs> stay away from the pointy end <laughs> That, I get a feeling that's probably what we're going to call season one of this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Depends how many times gear gets shot, of course. <laughs> so Maybe uh, just a once per episode kind of thing. Yeah, Caridwin was already trying to. She's a hunter. She's a scout. So that's yeah. what she does is she uh, looks for signs. And so is that a role that Austin has to do? I think that's and one I that you that I you do. have well, to do. You were going to aid, right? So let's just look. Aid your ally oh. when you secure an advantage in direct support of an ally and score a hit, they can take the benefit. So what you really need to do is okay. do a secure an advantage. Roll Austin for oh, gear. Oh, I did not. Oh. 
wow, aiding somebody works really differently in the system. Yeah, <laughs> it's, uh, yeah. Uh, so I'll just, I'll just, um, I'll let Robin roll for it because she was already going to do that, and I'll just, as the story permits, assist her in, in yeah, because that is blunt ways. <laughs> yeah, as is traditional gear fashion. Um... So what then? Episode two, and we already have traditions. <laughs> yep, absolutely. Uh, so is that uh, secure an advantage or gather information? I think that's whichever you prefer. Okay. Uh, I, um, at this point, I would say probably we're just you're just looking for information, right? That's what I was thinking at this too. Point? Yeah. Yeah. Follow uh, a track. Conduct so an yeah, give us yeah. a roll plus wits plus any yeah. bonuses you get from your assets. Um, uh, well, let me check. I don't. I don't think I do for your hunting thing. Um, might I don't know. Journey. Uh. No, that's secure an advantage and under right. the journey that I get. Okay. So from, go ahead so. and give us, just give us a straight uh, wits then. Yeah. So, Ooh. um, you're in, oh, oh, your investigation unearths a dire threat or reveals an unwelcome truth that undermines your quest. Pay the price. Yeah, what is pay the price? That's come up again. What That's its own pay oracle. The is, yeah, is explain, yeah, oracle, explain right. what bad thing And happens. that one is actually on the sheet. If yeah, you go I'll to the oracles page, one. you can uh, roll it right on the sheet and it comes up in chat. It wasted resources. So, um, yeah, so you either you tell us you unearth a dire threat or reveal an unwelcome truth. And uh, if whatever it is is going to cost us probably supply or something. Oh, I've got an idea. If you don't, Do you? no, you go for it. And so, as Caridwin is kind of twenty feet ahead of the party, and kind of creeping along both the riverbed and the trees that are nearby, she hears a sizzling sound. And as she kind of moves out of the way, this glob of ichor kind of falls from the tree, grazing the backpack and punching just enough hole for it for some of her supplies to fall out into the nearby river. Yep. Ooh, so it's not And so now we know we're... whatever the whatever the poison or putrefaction or pollution is, it's also above us in the trees. Right. Oh. And we're all going to lose one more uh, one more supply or two, did I say? Uh, I think it's one. Uh, one. I think it's one. So, so we're, yeah, down we're all down to supply Oops, now wait, of three. three. That's dangerous. We're not even. <laughs> it's not even lunch on the first day, and we're already going. Yeah, <laughs> half our food's gone. Um, yeah, we're we're running out of shit, guys. We're supposed to be professionals. We just lost all our food. Uh, is, uh, what do you mean that's the porridge? Things? I'm going back. No. I'm <laughs> hey, and Car Caridwin will like you know she'll, she'll have just gotten out of the way of like actually getting hurt. So, um... Should one of us climb that tree? <laughs> we realize or we haven't we actually see? officially undertaken this journey yet either. We no, actually we haven't. haven't started the journey yet. This is all uh, before we move. Um, well, no, we're away from the, we're away from there. So we this should, is we just building up. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I guess we're still yeah, trying we're, to figure the system out. Undertaking the journey. And this yeah. is dangerous. Do we so, all roll? Oh, it wasn't. Oh, it them? wasn't done familiar lands yet because I knew the way to the river. Yeah, you know the way here. Okay. So, mm -hmm. um, uh oh. So yeah, who um, <laughs> who said who wants to go investigate? It's going to mean climbing that tree. Ick. Covered in ick, exactly, Miss. Uh, I can do it. And don't put your hand in nothing. <laughs> As Gear takes those long uh, laced gauntlets that go from his elbow to his wrist yep. and just digs the claws into the bark and begins to hoist himself up into the tree. Absolutely. Um, what would you call that? Um, Is that just maybe a straight... Um, Probably straight iron. A straight iron check, yeah. I mean, that I could thinking. be that could be face danger. It's yeah, if you want to do it that many, because yeah. that gives you the option of rolling. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. falling out of a tree is dangerous. Absolutely, let's face danger. And, then and the while he's doing that, somebody roll us this to undertake this journey so we can actually get started. Should someone with because it says to what does it say? Undertake a journey as you set the rank of your journey, and I think you guys have already set the rank of your iron vow. So would yeah, that so this makes sense. The journey. Yep. So, so that yeah, would be a so dangerous journey. So two progress per waypoint. Uh, and so, so for the we, first one, where do we record this? Where and how do we record this? The this way to do this would be on your character sheet. Uh, the second Under page progress. is progress. Okay. And you go there, well, and the... one of us would keep track of this. Uh, I okay. can do it for okay, this so one. Uh, journey to travel find... to okay. waterfall. We're going to call it. Or are you just, or are we journeying to find the source of the? Tank? And it's dangerous, uh, and. Oh, we can even roll there. Look at that. Conclude. Oh, you, to conclude your progress, you, can, you know how you can always try and overcome the thing when you get part way. So if it's a, a, mm -hmm. a bad guy or that. But oh yeah, no, so gear. I've put it on my uh, sheet for what? travel to waterfall as a dangerous uh, journey, and so yeah, each time we get, each time we go through a section, which will be five of them to get there, uh, we will have to roll and see what happens. So do you want to roll for the initial undertake a journey roll then? Sure, I guess I might as well see as I put it on and my sheet. And then this this inspection can count towards our first progress of the journey. Okay. Yeah. Because gear what happened to gear? Sinks his claws into this tree and just begins to hoist himself up and he gets up the tree pretty heftily, um almost like he's done this before. And as he is kind of like a cat kind of moving along this branch, um hand over hand he gets to this big kind of globule that's sitting in this bow of this tree and as he comes close you see him almost fall out of the tree as he's reacting to something and as he kind of moves to the side you can see this like black tendril that is lodged on his arm kind of whipping itself around Ew. and as he quickly like drops down onto the branch and drops down to the floor grabs the tendril pulls it off, throws it onto the floor, and begins to step on it, there are two um, bleeding bite marks that po are pouring down his arm, and as he lifts his foot up, there's this, like, nasty, black-looking baby snake um, that has this, like, beautiful purple iridescent sheen on it that is um, kind of flaking off these scales. And as the scales fall, you see as they kind of sizzle and burn away. Wow. And so, so is that a snake that has been affected, or is that part of the source of the taint? And so Gear also has to endure harm because ouchie. <clears throat> yep. Yeah. Yeah, I, yeah I, I, I see no reason to have a fray with it. You wouldn't just kill it, but yeah, it's definitely going to get you. But yeah. Second facing the danger i had to pick one and i was like oh let's just do harm because yep. i'm running out of other <laughs> stuff <laughs> um i'm seeing if i have anything over here i don't have anything so it's just gotta be a straight roll oh hey <laughs> hey, wow. hey look at that a strong hit um which means you what shake it off hand? um if your health is greater than zero, suffer minus one momentum. Yeah, you trade a momentum for a health. In exchange right? for one health, or embrace the pain and take one momentum. I think I'm going to do that one. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't surprise me. I Yeah, that sounds very gear-like. That's yeah, what he does. did before. <laughs> so I will roll oh, the first part of this it. journey here. No bonuses. Hey, look, amigo, strong Ooh. hit. So Ooh, we so uh, now we're now we're cooking with fire. So that now means we get to add two po the fill in two boxes, uh, and um, oh, undertake add, a journey. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is to take a journey. Um, so on a strong hit, you reach a waypoint. So we're one fifth of the way there. Um, you make good use of your resources. Mark progress. Uh, or we can mark progress and take one momentum, but suffer one supply. I don't want to do that. We're already almost out of food. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, we will make good use of our resources, and we will just mark <laughs> progress. So that means we go to page two of ye old character sheet, the progress one, and we fill up two of the boxes to number four. 
So we are one fifth of the way done uh -huh. our journey. Next. And being and since you've got to set up all his DMs in this, we can all look at Bill's sheet and see it. Yes, exactly. There are no yes. secrets in this game. <laughs> so don't write rude Everything things about each other. Everything's a secret of this game. Yeah, We're don't write rude things about each other on your character sheets. We can see them. <laughs> since um, <laughs> since we're all taking the the journey together too, um, you can. We can just have one person keep track of it at a time. Yeah. In a stream. Yeah, each, we can take turns rolling it because it's based on wits, and we all pick. We all have at least two wits, so that's good. <laughs> We're going to be thinking our way through this campaign, not blasting our way through it, which I love. Surprisingly. Um, surprisingly. Yeah, well, so far, so so far, anyway. So, so with far. that, um, we have made our first short section. You have fallen out of a tree and found this snake. Uh, are we checking this snake out? I um, think we need to somehow. Because so your, your question is valid. Is this... <laughs> Is this what made the ick, or is this what the ick did to a perfectly harmless tree snake? Yeah, is this a manifestation of the ick, or a or, or a cause. Ca source yeah. of the thick of the ick? Which or a came first, the ick, or the, the, the ick, or the snake? <laughs> the the, the ick, ick or the, the snake? <laughs> <laughs> yes. And we now finally have discovered our bad guy for this adventure is the ick, all ick. capitalized. Well, the <laughs> and ick are both capitalized. There you go. Ooh, the, an actual taint upon the land. That yes, was tainted ick. Wasn't that an alp? Wasn't that a band in the eighties? No, the song. No, no. <laughs> that's, that's yeah, that's a good band name. <laughs> it, it must have been. Somewhere. Tainted love was the song, but yeah, tainted ick. Ooh, ooh. So do we? Just better than tainted taint. No, stop. No, back to the game. <laughs> or icky taint. <laughs> <laughs> we'll have lyrics by next week. Yeah. So we're close to the break. You can tell. You can hear it coming. Uh, let's get through. Let's get through this next little bit. Who's going to investigate the ick and this snake? I I already got bit by the ick, so somebody's got to investigate it. Uh, Maybe you want to you what knows a bit about nature. And, um. Yeah, I'll try it, and I'll even ask the crows to take a look. Oh. Oh, I like that. Do an oh, augury. Take ten Will minutes. They come here. Yeah. Call them in. Well, yes, because I summon them. Fine. It's an augury. You do that. She says, like, duh. Us. Everybody yeah. does that. <laughs> everybody does these. <laughs> I mean, we've okay. been out here for a while. As as Amala is calling her birds, Gear's gonna go off to see if he can find some some meat or something. I don't know. Yep. Uh, Bill feeds uh, feet uh, half a carrot because he doesn't. He's not letting them down. You were not going down on that soil, my friend. Yeah, I know. Okay, and as the first few crows mm -hmm. start arriving, um, you know, she draws the attention to the snake and says, "Is this so?" Is this the cause of the taint, a manifestation of the taint, or a victim of the taint? And roll that wit. And, and then you... You would get plus one get with decide. this, right? Because this is close. Right? This is in your neighborhood. And these are your crows, so... Okay. She could decide or say. maybe like roll a three-sided die and like do a fetch. A weak hit. So what happens on a weak hit, Augury? Um, Assets. Augury, Augury. Oh, wait, I've got it on my sheet. What am I thinking? On a weak hit, the crows <laughs> ignore your question and offer a clue to an unrelated problem or opportunity in this area. Oh, okay. Vision well, of course color. they do. And take plus one momentum. Let me take one. Let me do the... Uh, plus one momentum, and I think I'm going to consult the oracle mm -hmm. on this. I'm going to ask the oracle on this. Sounds like a good idea. Uh, yeah, we're all so something? creative. We keep forgetting that there is an oracle system for exactly this sort of thing. It's like, no, I have an idea. No, let's roll some dice well, and see what gets it, weird. Uh, well, so I try clicking ask the oracle, and it isn't doing anything. Oh, oh okay. up here. So on your yeah on your page go to the oracles page. 
And, yeah, uh, and down at the bottom wanted... under moves. Let's see. Oh, ask the oracle. Oh. It's not. Okay, yeah. So, um. There's no die next to it. That's if interesting. I go there ask the oracle one. up above. Up above, there's an ask the oracle. It looks like I roll a. You can just oh. click uh, in the ask the oracle. You can click any one of those dice. I'm rolling them now. So, or, yeah. Okay. Yeah, click any one of those dice, and that should do it. It'll generate a number for you. Wow. Nice. So they say yes to whatever you're... Not asking. <laughs> whatever you're not asking. Um, that's kind of... Wait, a... you rolled on the... You rolled on the unlikely table. Yeah, no, that's not... Oh, I see what... I see what this is. Okay, okay those yeah, are the no. different tables. Okay, see, I should have paid attention to that. So, yeah. Um, are you wanting something more like a, a plot twist or something? Oh, there's yeah, an idea. Maybe. Yeah, let's do... Let's try that. Let's do a major plot twist. Let's hammer that. Oh, great. Just what we need. A new, a new danger, danger appears. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. You ask okay, about so the, the... answer is... So the answer is no. <laughs> I asked, yeah. is it a cause, a manifestation, or a victim? And, and they the said crows no. said no. But they said, but look, there's more danger. There's another thing up this river. So they don't want to yeah. tell you about this. They want to tell you about another problem. Yeah, this 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 isn't this isn't what we're looking for. I don't know what this is. This looks really wrong, but this isn't what we're looking for. Yeah. Okay. Even with okay. the purple iridescence, it's not what we're looking for. So maybe this thing is warped by the ick into being this, since it's not what we're well, looking for. But I asked if it was a victim, and they just said no. Or they at least I ignored don't... you. <laughs> they decided your sometimes question was I, silly. Sometimes I, yeah, well, yeah, sometimes they laugh at me and gossip instead, but... Still, we knew we more than we did five minutes ago. Then we should keep moving. I think we should head on, get away from that, and so maybe not climb any more trees. So should we record somewhere, figure out what the purple iridescent snake's about? I've made what? a note of it, so at the very least okay. I've got it. We've in got here. it on our list, and yeah. it probably ought to be on our pro one of our progress sheets somewhere. Maybe we, maybe you could ask your well, shaman know, about that when it. we get back and see if that's natural or not. She might know something. Yeah. Maybe it's just a creature that can survive in the ick. Possible. That's a thought. It just has natural adaptations to it. Well, if it's not burning a hole in it, maybe you should put it in your pack. Hmm. But it would burn a hole in the pack. That's what I was wondering. <laughs> well, no, if this is something different, it might not. It bit him. It didn't burn him. That's a good point. So, I mean, even Should if you had a couple sticks and us? just sort of wrapped it up in a bit of cloth in your backpack, just so we've got an actual object, right? So for her to look at or for anybody to look at when we take yeah. it back. Oh, gear will just pick it up if you guys are afraid of it. <laughs> <laughs> just, yeah. Okay. And so purple snake. Gear will see see that it's not burning him and hand it to Caridwin. And she'll take it. Because yeah. gear doesn't have pockets and not, nope. no backpack. Nope. Well, she has a hole in her pack. <laughs> <laughs> then he'll no, hang a snake and say, out of it. <laughs> like, like a oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> She'll stick it in her quiver. Don't Ooh. drop this. <laughs> and halfway through a fight, <laughs> <laughs> shoot a snake. <laughs> Wing! <laughs> catapults it. <laughs> so the person gets hit by a snake and then by an arrow. So and <laughs> let's do uh, let's do the they get, next. Yeah, they step. get the puncture wound and then the bite marks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's do the next uh, step on our journey and see what happens. I think. I think. Okay, so we continue up towards the waterfall. So we're yep. still heading So upstream. somebody give me a wits roll. Oh, uh, I can do it. Or oh, someone else. I okay. know, he's been okay. rolling it when That's he said okay. somebody. Not a problem. On a weak hit, you reach a waypoint and mark progress, but suffer one minus one supply. Did Gear oh. find anything when he went out to look for stuff? 
he didn't take long enough to actually hunt. Yeah. He was more just kind of doing a, a patrol. So, so we got two more boxes, but bed. our supply is Buddy. now down to <laughs> two. Our supply is at two. Okay, and we're coming up towards the waterfall and the path, and, and sort of the, the there's sort of a path that kind of winds its way up. Yeah, we it's get not to a the, huge the, waterfall. It's only about twenty feet up. Absolutely. So was this was this journey to the waterfall, or was the waterfall sort of the second milestone on a longer journey? Do we think? I think it's the second milestone. Yeah, it's the second okay. milestone because we weren't certain if it was there. That was just a piece of it that we knew existed. That, yeah, that was, I, so. I knew the river up to that point. Um, so as we've kind of been taking this journey for over the course of this uh, this afternoon and most of the morning, oh, I know how that's going. when we get to the waterfall, what do we find? Well, the the first thing we find uh, is that uh, the snake that Caridwen has put in her pack has uh, oozed on some of the food, and we've lost some more food. That explains it's our negative one quiver, supply. <laughs> or in your quiver. Uh, it dripped from your quiver into your backpack and destroyed some of ours. Or it destroyed maybe a couple of your bowstrings or something, but somehow mm -hmm. our supply yeah. is reduced by one. Uh, it melted a couple of the arrows. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe eat, ate through the wood of the arrows, so we have to resupply on those. Yep. So, we're down to two supply. Uh, it's like it's, it's, we're, we're, it's now lunch on the first day, and we're sitting down. And we still haven't removed one for the day. For actually, like when we when we take a rest, it's going to take another one. So <laughs> we're going to have to and go so, hunting. Noticing yeah. that and there are will, no animals around to nope. hunt for either. We're going to start with yeah, our second any. episode. We're not eating any fish out of that river. No, uh, no, no, anything that's floating in that river is not edible. Caridwen will Acid suggest that she, she and or here go out to hunt or forage or something to find some kind of way to resupply. Um, we could probably both do it. Maybe yeah. you certainly can. I mean, it's it's a move you can both make, right? Um, Search separate areas. So if you go out looking for like <laughs> like branches and stuff to refinish your um, your 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 arrows. Mm -hmm. Gear could go out, grab a couple rocks, maybe try to take down a couple birds for feathers and fletchings for you. Mm -hmm. yeah. so, and maybe maybe find. Some... Although those those rolls would probably be better suited in the opposite way because you have range and he doesn't. But <laughs> but he would or never like suggest even finding such some, a thing. Like, <laughs> either either way, something. we will uh, resolve that bit after Ooh. the break because we are an hour and a half into our stream tonight. So <laughs> oh we'll goodness. take about a 15 minute break here. Uh, we'll figure out exactly what we're doing um, and we will it will get smoother. I will tell you that we got at one point tonight, we were three rolls behind where we actually were. Uh, so <laughs> it was just the story was moving so well, fast in one direction. We're uh, like, ah, we got to roll these things. I will say the same thing. I always say story first, story second, story third. If we happen to miss some places where we could have made a move and didn't, so be Doesn't it. Matter. We're making lots of them. We're using the mechanics. <laughs> it's affected the game already a number of times. So on that wonderful happy note i'm really enjoying this let me just uh say we will be back in about 10 to 15 minutes see you then Hello, and welcome back for the second half of episode two of Iron Sworn. Uh, the adventure, the, I was going to say the plot has thickened, but the adventure has thickened like porridge. Uh, and we set out to do a fairly simple thing. We were going to find out what happened to the wolves. And we have now left the wolves far behind in the distance uh, with full bellies and, and broken minds. While we work our way up a river, uh, we have made it to a waterfall where I'm sure something interesting will happen. 
but uh, beyond that, we have learned that there are several issues <clears throat> that need to be dealt with. There is the source of whatever this ick is that's uh, in the water and burning the lands. And there's also something else that the crows cryptically hinted at in the direction that we're going. And with that, I think that makes it about lunch on the first day, sort of midday. So um, we're going to have to take off another point of supply to feed ourselves today. And um, Gear and Cared when we're going to go do some resupplying. It would be ever so nice if you did, because we are at and while one. Uh, we are <laughs> one point of supply away. Uh, we're one small hole in a backpack away from uh, having to make an out of supply move, and those are bad. Oh, yeah. So while you're doing that, very nasty. <laughs> yeah, and while you're doing that, I want to check out the waterfall and, you know, folks were saying, what if there's something behind the waterfall? And I want to try and check yeah. without touching the water. Oh, okay. That's going to be so I'm going to go. So what would that be? What stat would be? What's sort of leaping and oh, bounding on rocks sort of a stat? Yes. <clears throat> oh, yes. Okay. Oh, you doubled up. Oh, yeah. Okay. I doubled up. And so we get two supply from me and one supply. Or we can trade. Or you can trade. I can trade momentum for supply. For supply, yes. And I've got a four momentum, so. So if I add the two, that brings us up to three, right? Yep. Yes. Then however much momentum you want to spend. Um, um... Opportunity, what happens? What does gear find when he's out hunting? I'll, I'll burn two momentum to get two supplies so that we're up. Just with how we've been going right now. <laughs> Eating through them. So that takes us back yeah, up to five. Um, yep. So may I be so bold as to make a suggestion? Uh, Gear very quickly makes a, a kill, gets a rabbit or something. Uh, Caradwin's like, oh, really? Just pop, snaps a squirrel out of the tree, and they just go on this hunting, like like playing horse with with a basketball where you try well mm -hmm. yeah make this shot trying oh yeah make this shot oh, yeah. they're trying to outdo and each other the, yeah. yeah so they could have actually come back with more food but they got into this sort of game they brought back lots of food it's enough it's more than we need but uh, maybe it took them a little longer than we're too busy should have. Gimli and Legolas thing over here yeah. and then finally and then, when they, uh, they're finally I, at the I three each and they look at each top. other and go where are we and have to find their way back to the camp <laughs> And then, um, and given those for, ones, I think ties, you man. Oh, yep, we were just talking won. about the dice being wonderful. Oh, and yeah, I got one. Another tie for that little, for that little extra twist, that opportunity that I got on our way back. Gear holds his hand out in front of Caradwin to kind of stop her, and his eyes are locked on this scene of um, one of these beautiful black ravens is has one of these purple snakes pinned to the ground and is picking at it and has flipped it over onto its belly and is kind of picking at its innards. And so clearly these crows are maybe not involved in this, but have adapted to this creature at least being here and has found a way to thrive off of its existence. So did you say crow or raven? Because I think you said both. Uh, he said that started with raven. We'll we'll go we'll go crow because those are those are actually uh, that, the, there's an obvious reason why I asked. We, we have a oh, yeah. sort of crow whisperer here so yeah so, so what was it you. doing with the snake again it had it had, I mean, it had caught one of these little baby snakes it caught that. flipped it over onto its belly baby snakes. and oh, it's peeled on its open peeled open sorry yeah flipped it over onto its back flayed open the belly and was picking at the innards so bypassing the poisonous skin or whatever was on the outside of it and was eating the soft, squishy bits that were safe. See? <laughs> crows. And so the crows were are adapting and learning to this. I'm going to have you all in tune with the crows by the time we're <laughs> done with this. And whoever made us make the happy noise, I had a window in the wrong spot. I didn't see who you were, but thank you, thank you, thank you uh, for, the, uh, for the follow. Yay! <laughs> And we will continue on with our what? How much supply are we at now, guys? We're full. We are we're back. Five. Full up. Yeah, 
We're mad. Between the, the two of you come back. It was, it was Sarah. Oh, hey, Sarah. Thank you. And thanks for watching. Welcome to the Bronze Age. <laughs> Iron Age. We're in the Just barely. Age. Just <laughs> barely. We're like in the bridge between where Iron yeah. Age is just we're not. We're not yep. over the hill yet, guys. Yep. Well, the, <laughs> in the uphill. real world, the interesting well, thing is a, the Iron Age kind of grew here. right from certain areas. So in some places, Iron was more popular than it was other places. So we could, you know, anyway. Uh, it's common. It's, it's all day. over the place. It's in those bogs and everything else. Yeah. It's just really, really hard to do anything with it. Just got to find those rusty it. rocks. Uh, oh, 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 ah, burned I'm, by chat. Oh, ferocious. I'm older than him. I'm older than him. Yeah, but she wouldn't be so rude to you. <laughs> I earned this age. I've put a lot of time in getting to this age. I woke Thank up you very every much. damn day. <laughs> Oh, there you go. So yeah, she loves you. She doesn't even like me. Uh, <laughs> that's not true. Okay, so uh, while you guys have had a successful time there, yes. I'm sort of speculatively looking at the this waterfall and trying to figure mm -hmm. out, okay, how am I going to do this without getting splashed by the water? Cause Are I really you... don't want to touch that water. I w I'm facing a situation. I'm oh, you're facing danger. danger. Ooh. Facing, facing danger, danger or just a straight wit? Or facing danger with it's your a, wits? Yeah. It's a waterfall, so the water's splashing. Yeah, so I'm that's true. Yeah. And, and, and if the water can burn you, that's pretty dangerous. Yep. Yeah, so I'm going to leave as much as many, I'm going to leave my bag and my staff and, and all over on the side. Yep. And, and I've never been one to play behind the waterfall, so I don't. I don't know if there's a cave or anything, so I'm going to try and sort of see what's back there. Maybe take a stick and sort of poke in there to see, is there anything, but is there uh, something behind it? So uh, gather information first, then, I, with a stick? Or what were you thinking? Well, I, I don't think I really need to make too many rolls on this. I mean, yeah, I could roll yeah. each individual part, but I was just thinking to sort of consolidate it all into sure. the facing. Sure, yeah. And I'm kind and of then, thinking yeah. of using edge on this. Yeah. Because it's more of the agility and precision sort of stuff. And I'm trying to yeah. feel it out while avoiding the water. Sure. So throw throw the mechanics out. We'll slam face danger and gather information together. Make one roll and we'll determine what happens based on that. Love it. And then rolling edge. Yeah. Because that's what, I mean, that's the real thing is what, what the story are you story rolling first. and what, if any, bonuses should you get, right? That's the questions you always have to answer. Oh, look at that. Okay. Hey, hey, so hey. I managed to avoid so I managed to avoid the water. Yeah. And what do you find? And I find back there it is kind of worn out by the water. Is it an actual cave? I'm not sure. So I'm gonna try and look and sort of see is there is there actually a way in there? But I'm also kind of thinking that that there might be something interesting there, but I don't think it's related to this. I think we're still looking further upstream. Okay. Uh, but this is did another she... thing to add on our list to possibly investigate later. Right. Just did you uh, get a, um, a momentum for the success for a strong hit? Normally there's a, mom a plus yet. momentum involved in so that. Go, get, let me get see. Plus one. Plus one. Okay. Plus one. I'm all the way up to six. Oh, we're going to need that. I'm you... on a roll. Well, the thing <laughs> is, if you can, one of the, because of the way the mechanic in this game works, if you can get your uh, momentum to 10 and just sit on it, you can make a success, a, a strong hit out of anything. You mm -hmm. can take any roll and go strong hit. <laughs> so, uh, Not entirely. Because you have to, your momentum you has to, to be beat higher it. So, than yeah. the dice. Sorry, so you yeah. can, you can beat anything up to nines. 99% of them you could shut down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> anyway, uh, back to this. So, uh, yeah, what building? do you find? You find there is definitely uh, okay, a I hollow? Bet there, there's an indent there, mm -hmm. but I don't think that's what's... Uh, but I'm also finding that the, the stuff coming down is also toxic. So there's something interesting there. I'm going to add it to our list to maybe investigate later, but that's not the source of what we're looking for now, so we're going to continue upstream. Perfect. Is so the ick is coming from upstream. Okay. Um... So what's Bill doing while they're doing that and I'm doing this? And well, I was just I was just thinking that he is um, 
he's looking around as well, more looking at the water because he's trying to find the source. He saw you looking behind it uh, and it frankly expected you to find something behind a waterfall. There's always something behind a waterfall. Uh, <laughs> but he's looking more at the water itself and he figures out, uh, well, I guess let's do a gather information. Don't tell you what he did until I roll to see how, whether I, how well I did it. Um, Even Bill's aware of the trope. Wits. <laughs> Yeah, I keep saying I, I'm not using feet right now, so I don't get the plus on that. Uh, a weak success. Okay. Information complicates your quest or introduces a new danger. In vision, you take plus that. one momentum. <laughs> okay. We need more danger and more complications. I think we need a complication rather than another danger. Um, but it's Bill, so Bill gets to decide. I... Um... Hang on, I gotta have my momentum before I forget, but I know what's gonna happen here. So that goes up to that. Uh, send us in a direction there, Bill. I'm looking up and I look down at Amala again and I look up again and there's like a burst of water that comes out over the top, but Amala's standing there poking her stick into this. <laughs> in, and so very unceremoniously just grabs her with both hands and just falls backwards into the bank. So he lands in the mud and the snow and everything else. And then you land on top of him and poof, drive him into the ground. And then this huge splash of water poof, at the bottom of the waterfall and then back into the thing and starts to go away. And where it splashed up on the sides, any green grass or whatnot immediately starts to shrivel. Yeah. Oh! Thank you. Oh my goodness. Someone up there made a dam and it just broke. Well, there would be. I think there might be some beaver um, lodges up there, but oh my goodness. Can anything living in this water? Oh. So there's a creature involved. I can uh, imagine a scaly beaver. And I just went Scottish there. I don't know why. <laughs> <clears throat> Well, or it could have been a deadfall. It could have been deadfall. Could have been a tree or something. Yeah. Right. That is possible. Right. Right. Uh, either way, better best keep an eye out for that then. Yeah. Yeah. Where's okay, them so others? Yeah. And at the speed of plot, we return <laughs> to the clearing, <laughs> carrying both, just like lashed vines of rabbits like stuck up around our neck yeah. like big neck rings as we just wander in with like a dozen each exactly 12 each yeah holding them up so like, the and they're like perfectly the same size too yeah. oh yeah it is a tie in every sense yeah so the rabbits why aren't the rabbits affected if they're still here but we're just that good we went farther out than we were planning. That's what I was going to say. <laughs> well, there's that. But then also, maybe this is affecting the predators more than it's affecting. Maybe, ooh, maybe the activity up on top of the little waterfall and the presence of these animals and the fact that we took so long means that we're getting closer to night and things are starting to come out. Ooh, speaking of waterfall, don't get too nocturnal. close to it. This one likes to spit up a little bit. And uh, I showed yes, them the, it did. Yeah. It up. A big splash. It were, it were all uh, normal something like gave this, way and upstream. then we had a big splash come out. I and... see. Yeah, something gave um, way upstream. It would have gotten me, except Bill pulled me, pulled me free, or pulled me back. We nearly ended up with a purple skin shaman, all covered in scales. And purple's Look at not Amala. my color. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at Amala. You mean the one time you weren't watching the sky, something came down from it? And somebody else had to save you? I get, well, Keridan will smack his arm. <laughs> you know, if it weren't, he's right, though. If it weren't for bad luck, twice. you'd have no luck it's at all. It's only twice. <laughs> yeah, so the smack hits gear, and <clears throat> he doesn't move, but he kind of goes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, did you find anything in the waterfall, then? Yeah, you um, were poking well, it with a stick. There's at least there there is a space behind it, but I don't. But 
whatever it is is further upstream so i i didn't investigate any further i didn't want to get wet at, in that i mean well not that water the water <laughs> coming over the top's already bad eh? it's not down here it's up there already bad then we're not done looking yet nope and we have to go farther would we say by this point we have earned uh, something like a milestone on this? I mean, it's only a dangerous vow, right? On the vow? Yeah, I would say For so. For the water since supply? We gained, since we gained, like, since the vow and the journey, the undertake journey are kind of working hand in hand, I would yeah, say. Yeah, so are... take two boxes, one success towards yeah, the figuring it, I think. Now, are we supposed to do. There's a, um, not fulfill, it's not forge. What is it? What are you thinking? Reach um, a milestone? That was it. Yeah. Reach a milestone. Do we want to make Does this camp? seem like a moment like that? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's exactly what we're doing, right? So, yeah. 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 Well, we, and, we, and we've reached now the, 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 the horizon of my knowledge. And I was so, just, yeah, I was just far, looking here. But so, I don't know what's upstream. So, we, there's no yeah, we significant progress. Yeah, I was just saying it, it's there's no roll for it. So that's what I was checking to see if I had to roll to see if okay. I got the two marks or whether it just happened automatically. So I would say we've got that. So I would say that too, because yeah. I would say reaching the waterfall was a milestone. Yeah, and on top of finding out that it's a creature. Yeah, or and it's beyond that is here. Yeah. These things and it is up on top of the waterfall, so we are very very close absolutely yep. so do yeah, we, we maybe. camp and do it in the morning or do we go up so and it was only, it was, what time was it we've been traveling for a while haven't yeah. we probably i mean yeah, with you guys going with off the hunting, hunting time and the, it the, would be yeah. at least mid to late afternoon and this this area is i mean this whole world is notoriously snowy and cold so i'm assuming it's very short days Let's get i am up. just covered in ink <laughs> <laughs> you're disappearing into what, your what do you think I got I'm the one today? disappearing uh, why, why you, I'm why the one disappearing into my virtual so, background yeah. so um this is this it's a is, magic trick this is Amala's hometown so how high <laughs> is this waterfall it's about 20 feet up oh okay. it's not so that it's not I mean bad. it's not that big but it's it's pretty steep for for that yeah sure but you could probably do sort of a zigzag up the rocks and get yeah, up there fairly simply. Yeah, we could do a zigzag simply. getting up yeah. there. And, I, and like I think we... we should before we stop because we're not going to want anything yeah. rolling down. Looks like Mount, we all have mountain to face climber, danger. Mountain climber carrot wins. <laughs> uh, That's one of the assets you took? No. Mountain person? <laughs> mountain no, she's just from the mountain. <laughs> well, there you go. That's going to count for something. So maybe She's you not show us call the way this up. A mountain. This is barely a hill. Yeah, yeah it's barely her. a hill. <laughs> All so, right, so if we're climbing this thing, gear is just going to pick up Bill by the hips and get him a, like a seven or eight foot head start. <laughs> <laughs> right then, no looking up the leggings, and I just go <laughs> climb, keep climbing. And yeah, once we're up at the top, I guess somebody uh, roll for the next section of this. We got one more one more move before we go to sleep tonight, or do we want to? Do we want to face danger on this cliff? Is it is it really that steep, or is this I just was something we can do? No, I wouldn't say deal. so. Okay. I mean, we can go far enough away that we're not going to go into slippery bits anyway, because the slippery bits are yeah. poisonous. I mean, even if we fall, it's it's we're going to get dirty, maybe a little muddy or whatever, but we're not going to get super dirty. And between me on the bottom and Bill on the top, we can just pick them all up and, and basically <laughs> hand her the bill. Yeah. Okay, okay, I'm here. <laughs> and before uh, you can pick up Carrot when she's got it, because she's yeah. <laughs> she's on the mountain, she's monkeys fine. up the up the yeah. He, he's got this plan in his head where he's like, I'm just going to look over, and rather than pick her up, I'm just going to scoff. And he looks over, and she's already on top. Yeah. <laughs> so I got this all planned out. And then, I love the dynamic between those two. When the three of us are standing at the top, and behind us, we hear... And he claws on rock, just yeah. like... And he's mad, so there's rock flying out behind yeah. him. He's making a complete meal of this. Yeah. Gear ascends this cliff face by sheer force of anger alone. <laughs> yeah. Fight will get you everywhere. He climbs his anger right to the top. 
You like know, a ladder. I think it's gonna make it a little more difficult for us to get back down. <laughs> We're also Getting not down. sneaking up on right. nothing now, are we? <laughs> we weren't sneaking anyway. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so now we need to do some heading up, and, and this is going to be less traveled, so it's going to be a little more difficult terrain as we got more bushes and things closer to the river. So are we pushing on one more, or are we going to make camp here? We should probably camp here, or gear will say. We camp here. We can use this cliff so we can't be flanked by anything during the night. The closer we get to something, the more likely it is to attack us in our sleep. All right. Um, we might want to take turns staying awake so that at least somebody is is aware of what's going on and can wake the others. Oh, I like that. We turn. Oh, absolutely. We turn the night into a series of uh, checks, like a gather information checks or something, while we scout. See if something happens. That's yeah. random. If yeah. something happens. Yeah, I like that. But first, somebody <laughs> has to make camp. It's an actual uh, roll. Uh, plus supply, plus so whoever supply. gets the roll gets to add plus five. And we yeah. all get the benefits of this. Yeah. Okay, so um, I'm happy to roll. Yep, it doesn't well, matter although, who does. Although maybe one of the camp, yeah, maybe one of the people who normally camps. Uh, I can. Okay, so if, yeah. Yeah, yeah so if, right if you have any supply, assets that increase that, nice. um, like if, if I had gone hunting with you, or eventually I could have used the uh, feet to help you guys hunt, but not yet. So, um, so it's just the the, the one dice right above, above supply. the supply, right? And then yep. it says to have exactly. a modifier. I don't put in a modifier. Yes, you do. do uh, no. This, uh, oh no, I sorry, I think it's already automatic to put it in the It, it account, automatically so, does yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. So. Or at least it should. We'll see. Ooh. Big well, money. Strong hit. Strong hit. What is that? So, we each, so uh, we each get a you get to choose two. two of the following. Uh, you get to either take one health for you and any companions, uh, or you can suffer one supply and take one health, or you can take one spirit, or you can take one momentum, or you can add one when you undertake a journey in the morning. And we get to pick two of those. Ooh. I would Do guess I need momentum need and health? tomorrow's. That's what I was thinking too. But one I, momentum and one on tomorrow. We're not undertaking we're, a journey tomorrow, are we? Well, we're continuing this uh, one. We're continuing so. it, so yeah, we will. And yeah. especially it's unfamiliar lands from here on That's out. That's right. So this yeah. will make up for the plus one that we've gotten up until now because of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like that. I like this thinking. So we get. One I am actually down a health, so I'm going to take mm -hmm. a health and a momentum on this one. Valid. Yep. Okay. So yeah, let's uh, yeah let's do it that way. I'm not exactly sure how this is phrased, but for I would say let's each choose two. We don't have to uh, share yeah. it. Like it doesn't yeah, have to be the it same says two. You and all and your allies may each choose two. So well, there you go. yeah, okay. So yeah, each choose two. There you go. And but still, um, I like your idea. Plus one momentum and uh, plus one on the whoever takes the journey tomorrow. Whoever, well, I guess that means either you or I will roll the journey tomorrow. Yeah, I'm taking the plus one to journey too. Okay, so any one of the three of us can. <laughs> and as soon as the fire... Well, actually, I don't even need the fire lit. All I need is the sunset, as long as we can see the sun from here. Oh, yeah. We yeah. should probably start a fire, though, because we have raw rabbits. Oh, that's what Karen is doing. That she's <laughs> yeah. making camp. Yeah. Okay. I mean, yeah, that's all, that would be all part of making camp and, and doing a very good job of it, so we had time to eat <laughs> properly and rest properly and everything else. So. And so <laughs> as Caridwin is, like, putting together the stuff to build this fire and... and going about her business gear is just taking his claws and just dragging three perfect slits along each rabbit and just turning them inside out and getting them ready to go on the fire <laughs> he's doing pulled rabbit instead of pulled pork oh well, he just <laughs> he just goes one down the leg one down the belly one down the leg and just flips the whole thing and starts pulling out the innards nice so we have, have a good meal there. yeah we get the we get a good meal in uh, and the sun we goes have about down. <laughs> Yeah. And I do my evening rabbit ritual. Legs. Yeah. <laughs> and your evening ritual, yes. My evening ritual. Where you gather the sun unto yourself. Okay, plus three. I know you can gather light. You can, at this point, you can radiate light at, uh, as part of that. Is mm -hmm. that okay? That, and if you travel in dark places, you can get bonuses from your light. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
uh, a weak hit, so you get get one. Is it? I add. Oh, I make it three. I set my light track to three. Right. Because this is for tomorrow. Because it it it. Right. That's how they phrase it. Set it to three. I was going to say, do you add three or is it just go back to three? So, but set it to three is very clear. So set it three. Like, frankly, this entire manual, it's very clear, very well written. Sean uh, did an exceptional job on this manual. It makes sense. The rules are simple. Uh, they're very ambiguous, Explicit. but in a good they're open way. open to interpretation. Yeah. Exactly. They're very clear, but they're very open to interpretation. And I, for one, love that. I know some people are... Uh, are having difficulty with these with the latitude and freedom. I personally love it. So they make room for the story to happen. They certainly like do, that. and that's what at least this this is why I picked you guys is because you're my storytellers, right? So uh, <laughs> we're gonna do this. Speaking of which, uh, we were going to stand guard for the evening, were we not? Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. Anything anybody wanted to? Do? I'm DMing again. Shush. <laughs> uh, Bill has nothing to do before we go to bed tonight. Who wants to take the first, the first stint? I want to take the darkest stint because I've got the light in me, and that so I can. Sense. <clears throat> so I'll take the the one after, so sort take, of the third, yeah, the, the third, third the before the pre dawn, the mm -hmm. third, because the Roy, fourth will have the pre dawn, so the third will be the darkest. Gear can take the first. Roy, then I'll go last. Okay, yeah, Keratin can go second. Amala, if you wouldn't mind, I'd like to see that. Uh, that light thing you can do. If you could wake me up before you do that at the end of more at the end of your shift. I've never okay. seen nobody oh. could glow before. Okay. Oh, well, I guess me and feet will get some sleep then. Curl up by the oh. fire. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so who was going first? Gear? Yeah. Do we? I don't even think we roll anything for this. I think it's just like a it kind of happens, or maybe we just roll something. We and were make thinking. It up. What were we? Yeah, we were thinking. We're we thinking gather, gather information, information, right? Um, yeah. So or just, just sort of roll happened. something random to see with. Yeah. Oh, that's funny because I was gonna say I was gonna roll my observation, my wits, and go off of that, but it's the same thing. It looks that's like the same thing. Yeah. Wait, gather information. I actually get a bonus since we're in the woods to gather information. Mm -hmm. Which makes sense, yeah. Yeah. Let's see here. And I mean, it says on a strong hit, you discover something helpful and specific. That could easily be, there's nothing out here. <laughs> yeah, nothing attacks us. So, we hit. Um, so complicates the, your quest. Something or happens the that, yeah, what happens that complicates this quest or adds a new danger? And so, as gear is kind of sitting there, throwing the bones into the fire and kind of keeping it lit to keep the warmth around and people settle off to sleep. He looks up at the, the sunset and as the sun is just coming down, there's this purple and reddish incoming cloud being illuminated by the last of the sun. This uh, potentially snowstorm that could be hitting in the next so often if it doesn't disperse before it reaches us. So things could get pretty hairy here. Snowstorm on the horizon. You know, Doesn't every time we think we don't need any more complications, each of us comes up with another complication. Every, <laughs> I really enjoy this. game is it's got to be we like love it. dark and, love and convoluted and, and complicated. And any, yeah, anybody that's watched any games Messy. that I run, I love having 27 things in the, in the quest log, right? I like my Skyrim <laughs> log to say too many cannot show all. I hate that when I play Skyrim, but I love it when I'm playing these games. <laughs> all right. Could get kind of snowy. Yeah, so, which makes sense. I mean, let's play with this weather. It's a big thing in this world, right? This this world is supposed to be so rough and nasty that only those with iron, that's what we decided in our uh, world creation, right? Only those with iron wills and spirits and bodies can survive. So let's have a snowstorm. I love it. And, and that would so, certainly make things more difficult. As Gears kind of progresses, he'll get up and he'll do a couple laps and just kind of move over, check out what the river's doing and... And as the couple hours come to an end, he'll just move over and with the bottom, with the 
top of his foot just kind of nudge more kick carried wind just like dum, dum. <laughs> and just get up and she'll get up and she'll whack his foot away <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, yeah, go ahead and uh, roll wits as I hunker down. Yeah, let's do a gather. And he'll just mention to her on his on his way to the ground to get horizontal. I'll say, keep your eyes over there, over the mountains. The clouds coming in it doesn't look good. Thanks. So you um, just did the ultimate opportunity roll. Uh, Two ones versus your six. So that's not just a strong hit, but it's like a, a strong hit gone wild. Mm -hmm. uh, so during your watch, what do you see that, again, to quote it, uh, discovers something helpful and specific? So he pointed um, out the storm as he, as he went to bed. And so she'll kind of keep an eye on that as she's got the light from the fire and the moon. Um, cause she, she knows snow clouds, she lives in the mountains, there's never anything but snow. Yeah. And, uh, so, she'll kind of keep an eye on it, but also keep an eye on the surroundings. And as she's watching it, she'll see that the, the cloud is starting to dissipate a little bit. But it doesn't dissipate the way a cloud does, it dissipates more like, uh, birds. Ooh, interesting. And they scatter. <laughs> so it was like they were keeping that formation, but as kind of it gets darker, they kind of just like disperse. Oh, so it's not even a cloud. It's uh oh a bad omen. That that very clearly omen. moves the plot along too. That was really yes. nice. Thank you. I really like this now. Now I know where we're going. At oh, least man. I have, I'm on plan 37 of what might be waiting for us at the top of this hill. <laughs> and which direction <sighs> is that coming yeah. from? And after this next roll, well, that plan is just going to... It was coming from the sunset, <laughs> so... Yeah. Yeah, but the way, way we're, we're heading, heading, I'm assuming, upstream. right? This yeah, is so it's coming are, from ahead yeah. of us. Yeah. 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 Assuming this world is similar to ours, this is coming from the west then. <laughs> yeah. Northwest, maybe is where we're going, probably, because the river probably flows south-ish. I don't know. And then the, the question is, in the Bronze Age, would they have told direction like that, or would it have just been sunward and, you know, uh, dawnward and, and duskward like or duskward. something? Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, that is what we saw. So, yeah, uh, birds, bats, something. And enough to be mistaken for storm clouds. So that's, like, a bazillion. And they were dark too. yes yeah Ooh. and purple and under you have angered the crows amala <laughs> or they're here to hell we don't know <laughs> i don't anger they don't get angry with me they think i'm we don't hilarious. know but we know who's in this chat room so <laughs> <no>. <laughs> they think i'm hilarious yep so when i'm pretty so sure they think Karen, humans are yep uh goes over and kind of uh, touches Amala and, and wakes her up like a normal person. <laughs> um, she will, she'll say that there wasn't really any, uh, anything dangerous around, but she will note that there was a, it looked like a cloud, but, uh, don't call like, the crows. Well, no, she'll say, uh, on Gear's watch, she thought it was a storm cloud, but I saw it as it hit kind of where the moon was, I saw it disperse into birds really really dark birds and i don't know what it was or if that's something that you would understand with how, how you work but i thought that was notable I'll listen and see yeah so um yeah okay and then she'll go back to sleep in my in my head, you stop and decide whether to kick gear or not. And I go, nah, he's not worth it. Yeah. <laughs> and he's still just sleeping with his eyes open, just like. <laughs> it's so easy. Poke his eyes. <laughs> no. That'd be a good way to wake him up in the morning. Just. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wet willy in the eyeball. Oh. <laughs> so. Okay. 
I'm so all, yes. So as I'm trying to pay attention to what's around me, I am also I'm not going to summon the crows, but I'm going to do the same sort of thing, reaching out and listening for the crows because sure. I use wits for the auger too. Yeah. I'm going to see what comes of that. Okay, so. I love this. Four storytellers, four shifts. We're handing the story off between <laughs> us. And we're all just like adding fuel and fire to it. <laughs> and then we're just going to soak yeah. ourselves. We're going to make like, such an incredible first combat that it's going to kill us. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to go TPK. on episode three TPK. of Iron Sworn. Yeah. We roll new characters. <laughs> it's a, uh, yeah. We've somehow ended up with an epic conflict two and a half episodes in. I'm not sure how it happened, but you're welcome. <laughs> I like how this this conflict between Gear and Cardwin is actively happening between all four of us, and we're like, oh yeah, this happens. Oh yeah, but that happens. Okay. Put them all. I got a strong hit. Bro. So, oh is another an look at that. I just saw a, that. Yeah. So, what info. do you add to the tale? So, so I'm sort of reaching out. I'm sort of listening in and, and sort of visualizing it, but still trying to at least stay somewhat aware of what's immediately around me so nothing sort of sneaks up on us. Mm -hmm. And and I, the crows start reforming again. I, instead of being in the shape of a cloud this time, they're in the shape of a prowling wolf. And it heads off, it, it sort of or sort of towards the sides, kind of towards the northward of the west. And then it, the, it sort of, it, before it dissipates again, the crows kind of come down and the shape lunges at something. Oh, in the direction that we're going? A little northward of the direction that we're going. Okay. Very cool. And then, so like you know, so they're forming and and dissipating, forming and dissipating. So like yeah. So you there. add it was very definitely actually crows. So you know we know it was crows now, it and was crows. they are they have showed you something important. That would be fair. And a location. This is a very very big dangerous augury I, I love this this is okay so um yeah you see all of that and then for the rest of your watch just one or two in the distance as usual <coughs> as there would be i'm assuming yeah yeah and so when the time comes and it's certain you know, i can tell the by the phase of the night, okay, it's time to hand off to Bill. Yeah. And so I stop and I concentrate a little bit and I, I sort of conjure a little bit of ball of light and just bring it down in front of his face so that, you know, the light would then wake him up. Stoner crows, miss. Oh, oh, so, oh everybody's still sleeping. Sorry, miss. Sorry. That, oh, oh, I never oh, seen nothing like that. Is it, is it, it's like a, it's like a firefly, miss, only bigger. And you can do that whenever you want. Uh, well, up to the amount that I take in from the sky at night, yeah. That's downright amazing, that is. The things I've seen. And every Speaking time I'm trying of which, I just it, took, I just took one off my light. You okay, yeah. So I'm down from three down to two. Yeah, and I <laughs> poke it with my finger, and I'm assuming it just goes right through. It's just a ball of light. Yeah, it's or just is... light. Yeah, okay. It's oh, I've light. never seen no such thing. Thank you, I miss. Just, I let it go, and it just fades up. Oh. There's something very sad about that moment. Anyway, you sleep well, miss. I like that very much. Thank you. Um. So there's... There's something odd going in the sky. We have a good moon tonight, and the crows are doing something. Bill saw them, or not Bill, um, Gear found, saw them forming into a, like a storm cloud. Right. And, and Caradwin saw them dissipate. 
And I saw them form again into the shape of a wolf that was bringing down prey. It was taking something down to the northwest of us. So I don't know what you're going to see, but keep your eyes to the north northwest. With my luck, missus, all I'll get from my troubles is poop in the eye from an owl. But I'll keep looking. I haven't heard any <clears throat> owls, just crows. Right then, miss. <laughs> From what I understand, you don't hear owls. They're all but soiled. So I go to sleep then. Yeah, <laughs> Bill realizes he's full pod. And <laughs> um, I will have uh, feet come out. He says, come on then, handsome. But he only stays on top of the pack. I don't want him touching the ground around here. It's it's nasty. So uh, he keeps, keeps me, helps me keep a lookout. And uh, because of that, does it help? No, because I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to secure an advantage. I'm just gathering information. So let's do, it's a, what is it? Wits. We gather information. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Bill. Character sheet. Wits. Here we go. Hey, we kid. Okay. So, um, complicates our quest or introduces a new danger. Go ahead. Complicate it. Oh, well, yeah, I can do both. I was kind of thinking Good of this luck. a little while ago. <laughs> uh, just as dawn comes up, so just as everybody's about to wake up, in fact, Bill is like standing up from the tree he was leaning against, sort of thinking about stuff. Uh, when uh, we hear in the not particularly far distance the howl of a sickly sounding wolf. We've been spotted. Get up, get up. <laughs> Gear just sits bolt upright, eyes still open. <laughs> 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 like the fucking Undertaker. Yeah. <laughs> and wolves of yours is back, or at least one of them is. And so Gear will listen out, and here I go complicating shit even further. <laughs> yeah, we don't listening... really need the Oracle to tell us to do that, do we? <laughs> listening to the sound of the howl that, um, that Bill mentioned... And hearing it being very in tune with these creatures, mm -hmm. Gear kind of rubs the sleep from his eyes. He goes, Something's wrong. That's not a natural call. Something is very wrong. All right. Grab your things, ah. put out the fire. Um. I wonder, the the crows, the crows. So the oh, you the 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 cloud, the cloud. It was crows, and the crows and the crows formed a wolf, and the wolf was was hunting something and brought it down. In, in they the were sky. Crows. to the north, northwest, north northwest. It wasn't a storm cloud gear. It was it was birds, apparently crows. Lots of them. Bad oh. omen. How about we continue this conversation while we walk quite briskly in that direction, <laughs> shall we? And just just start throwing things together and yeah. packing them up and handing them to people and scoot a bunch of snow over the the fire and just start Yeah, just kicking the quickly. logs into the river to put them out. So, yeah. Head totally on a swivel. Um, and it's a little further north than... than so we've been sort of following to the west. And it, it, the crows, the crows did a little more that way. I wasn't, I was asleep. Where, where did the wolf howl come from, Bill? It come from down the valley by your village, by your circle. Oh shit! We should get back there. But we're, we're, we're a ways away from the, the oh, yeah. circle. Oh yeah, that's just the direction, right? Not the, yeah, so. like that's a, almost a, it's a full day's so we're, travel away. So. We're but it's, it's close center. to us. Yeah, it's close to us, yeah. So. The impression that I was, what I was thinking is, they they've been tracking us and they just found us. They found our trail, right? At at risk of complicating this further, <laughs> we're on the we're the east that. side. We're on the east side of the river, 
Where we need to get is on the northwestern side of the river. And something dangerous is over there. Something dangerous is also on this side of the river near us. So we are... Allow me to put this this explanation into dice. <laughs> it don't matter which way um, we go, we're facing danger. <laughs> we are we are under we are gonna be under attack, and so preemptively gear is all senses on alert. Um specifically his nose, trying to smell and anticipate thinking like a predator where he would attack from and keeping his eye on that area. So he's gonna try to secure the advantage okay. and Try to stay one step ahead of whatever's going to ambush us, thinking like an ambush predator. Perfect. Uh, Bill is going to um, attempt to secure uh, an advantage by taking some um, fallen branches and whatnot and putting them at an angle, leaning up against the lowest branches of a tree so I can basically run up them like almost like a ladder to get into the tree and start to climb. Uh, so... That would be mine using wits for sure. Uh, no oh, I'm not even. I need to find what the move I just made was. Oh, and Amala, I mean, it, it's dawn, it's morning. Amala is going to reach out to the crows and say, "Okay, you've shown us this much. Lead us, lead the way, lead the way. Show us where we're going." And and similar to that, Karen, when we'll stay near Amala as the others are kind of moving away and she'll kind of have her kind of back on the cliff area where we climbed up because that is yeah we'd hear them coming up there so she's keeping her back to that and keeping an eye on the area there and on amala okay so uh yeah, Bill failed miserably so I took some branches and put them up there and when I went to test them they just snapped and fell so I'm Totally not. I'm not burning on momentum, so I just I am unprepared to get out of the way. But hmm. so, what the two of you? What would uh, what if any move would that be? Gathering um, information or trying to gear will an explain advantage? this while you guys decide. <clears throat> gear will say, "Look there, right there," and he'll point to kind of this opening where the river and the cliff kind of perpendicts. He's going to. That's kind of where we set up camp. Yeah. He's going to explain, they'll come from this way. They'll try to force us off the cliff. If they can break our legs, they can feast easily. That's where they'll come from. Yeah. So they can take that for sure uh, and back into that corner and be prepared. Absolutely. Anything anybody else wants to do before we uh, go into our first combat that isn't against each other? <laughs> I secured an advantage uh, yep. with prepping and oh yeah no no shooting teammates <laughs> yeah <laughs> so uh you did that and uh amala that was a uh that was preparing or uh, securing an advantage as well was it this was the augury asking oh. the crows to show the way right okay so yes um that's a weak hit so they so ignore you gonna... and give you something and tell you about something else <laughs> Well, either that or they're just sort of flocking over in this direction. They're not leading us away. They're just over there. <laughs> they're over in a different spot. I like that because they, you know, last time they said, don't worry about that. There's a problem over here. So that's the same thing they did this time. Don't worry about that. There's a problem over here. And you're like, no, no, there. we have a problem here. We have a problem there. I don't need no, no. a problem over there. Danger. <laughs> yeah. Oh, immediate well, danger, Will Robinson. <laughs> well, but so the thing is. Mm-hmm. Going the direction, because the, I mean, the, the crows are over a little further upstream on the river. Right. And going that way, if we go that way, we find a place to ford the river. Possibly. Okay. So, yeah, if we sort of keep the river at our back and sort of scooch along the river, trying to find an affordable location, that's your plan? So they may no be, idea? are they, are they telling you something that's unrelated to our current situation? Is that what? That, is that what you rolled? Yeah. Um, yeah. The, 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 so they're they're like, hit, like oh time. hey, we found a place to cross the river, and we're like, we're under attack right now. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> but Amala would like to get. Uh, Amala doesn't know that that's what's up there. Oh, doesn't I have know an that idea. It, so, but Amala thinks that 
the crow's over there. I'm going to go where the crows are. And she starts off. Right. So if we're so if we're collectively moving <laughs> along this river, well, let's try that likelihood oracle. We'll say, how likely is it that the wolves attack us before we are able to make any progress along the river? I like it, yeah. And yep. I will say that if Amala moves, Caradwin will try to follow. I would, I would personally say that that moving would trigger that hunter mm-hmm. reflex. So I would well, say yeah, it's probably it sixty or seventy percent mm-hmm. likely that we were going to get attacked before we make progress. Absolutely. Yeah. But Amal- and Amala doesn't think like that. So yeah, she'd see the crows. Okay, I asked a question. Crows are over there. I'm going over there, and she heads off briskly and forgets she's with a group, and so she just heads off. Mala. <laughs> so she's yeah, she's heading down the river. Um, at this point, I'm trying to figure out what. Go ahead. I'm going to straighten out our image here while you figure. While you tell us what. Uh, image. Uh, oh. uh, we're off center. <laughs> yeah, on, is... We're not quite right on Twitch, but I'll fix that. So we'll call there it. We, sort of um, we fixed. <laughs> we'll call it likely that um, we're going to get attacked by these wolves. I would say yeah. Probably yeah, before yeah. we move. Yeah. Yes. yes, we do get attacked right, before we are. make any progress. So, Karen uh, will definitely try to stop Amala from moving because she is a hunter, so she knows, or I know that uh, wolves would do that, especially if they are sickly and or low on food. And so she'll try to stop. But it was Amala, probably but... sudden enough that yeah. it triggered the wolf attack. And so, as Amala just begins to stroll off, and Caridwin dashes after her, the prowling wolves take that as prey fleeing and just lunge for all of us. So, Lunging, how many? That was what the that's what the wolf did in the crow the crow wolf did lunging. Lunging. The crow yeah. wolf. Okay, so uh, oh. I'm just going to keep track of it on paper. How many wolves are there? Um, roll a d10. That's well, a lot. Bill heard one. That's, yeah, Bill heard one, so maybe so a one d4. Or two. Let's roll a d4. One. One. One wolf. That's all that shows up. That makes sense. That's fine. Uh, oh, okay. Hang on a second. Voice meter is giving me heard. fits. Discuss the plan. I'll be right back verbally. I just would be a second. So, this is. We've established a couple things that it's a wolf. It's hunting. It's not natural. It has clearly doesn't have a reason to hunt in a pack so this thing's probably pretty dangerous mm-hmm. but it sounds sickly so there's something wrong with it ooh maybe it's tainted maybe this thing is affected so, by whatever is going on here so because there's only one of them and it is coming after a group of us I would suggest it is um you know what? This is our first one. Let's stick with dangerous. Dangerous seems like a nice sort of comfortable place to put this. Yeah. Uh, so we'll put one wolf at dangerous. So whenever we do harm to them, we fill two boxes out of their ten. And whenever it does harm to us, it will do two harm to you if it hits. Which is the same harm. Uh, oh, oh, that's, sorry, one damage per harm. So those of you with weapons would do four damage because you do two harm, right? Mm -hmm. so for progress for two harm exactly so uh, i believe the first step at this point would be enter the fray if unless anybody has anything they want to do before the fight actually starts oh no i think we said that it was kind of sudden so it's it's kind of entered the fray for us yeah uh so well and i start um, off oblivious if and if we're if we're ambushed we roll wits so (laughs) well we weren't ambushed we heard it coming um so, so the rule to determine who is in control. I might need to roll wits. Uh, yeah, you might. But you I, might. Uh, yeah. probably between you and. and uh, so if you are facing off against your foe, which I would suggest is probably what Gear is doing, uh, that would be plus heart, and plus any bonuses you get for wild critters. Uh, I Bill would absolutely be sneaking, trying to sneak out of sight and be uh, while the big nasty hunter people are up at the front being a threat. He's going to try and flank them, so I would be using shadow. I guess this um, would be trying to fend off. Something. But what the other two I w- be doing? I would say I would say Amala and I are doing ambush, quote unquote. We're getting attacked basically. Right. So I would say plus, plus oh. for the both of us. 
Oh, oh no gear. Okay. <laughs> and so if gear is rather than gear kind of taking back and accepting the ambush, seeing Caradwin and Amala moving, he is going to move to attempt to face off this thing. And well, yeah, you, you can do, uh, you can prepare to act. You could take the yeah. initiative on a weak hit. Well, um, in his, in his, normally, well, nobody normally what he would oh, do no, he is he would accept, miss, so, yeah. he would right. accept the ambush and right. turn it around. But since he's got to worry about Caridwin and Amala, he moves to face off and he's not used to the situation. So he is disadvantaged in this fight. He doesn't know what he's doing at this point. All his planning out the window. Okay. So he's at disadvantage. And and when it comes around to my turn, the wolf has initiative. <laughs> the wolf will have initiative, so that means you will have to do clash, clash. instead of yeah, gotcha. Uh, Bill well, is just going to, and we're probably we're probably I mean the sort of the the rough order is probably wolf gear Bill carried Winamala, as far as distance wise. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So uh, all Bill is going to do, uh, I got my weak hit, so he's just going to take two momentum. He's going to bolster his position. What he's doing is hiding behind a tree with just his, his eyes sticking out, like one eye looking out. And again, he's waiting for them to attack you, uh, but uh, he's, uh, he's waiting for an, that to give him an advantage. So he will take the two momentum. And uh, so Amala, I you got a strong initiative. hit. Yeah. yeah, so you've got initiative. I do not. I, I uh, don't, and you don't. He does not. No. Um, you got I a got strong a hit, Amala, and uh, Caridwin, you got a weak hit, so your choice of the... Caridwin's going to prepare to attack, because she, she knows Amala doesn't have a weapon of sorts. Right. Um, yep, so and you... so she's going to prepare to know what to it. I wouldn't know how to attack if... No. It so me. you <laughs> take um, initiative, so you're going to be using the slash instead of uh, the other one. And uh, Amala... The strong hit, you get to take plus two in momentum and you have initiative automatically. And so we'll go for that first round. Am I going first since I'm closest to this it's thing? It's entirely Although you're up at to us what order. Though, right? so, yeah. Yeah. And well, I must, whatever makes he goes, sense. He so. goes first, but the he goes first, but the But I have to clash. Then. Yeah, yeah I have to you clash. have to use clash, yeah. Yeah. This so is the I'm, weird. I'm, this is going to be kind of strange for a lot of people. The NPCs in this game don't do anything. They don't roll. Uh, in this case, because the NPC has the initiative, he is forced to respond to it rather than waiting for it to roll to hit him. So, and so I'm go ahead facing and give off us a clash roll using in close much. quarters. So I'm using iron. Okay. Yeah. And I am fending off uh, an animal. So this is my one of my specialties. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So clash, um, inflict your harm but pay the price. And your, your foe, has, foe the has the initiative again. So, so reacting to this as the wolf kind of charge, I know it's immediately going to go for a pounce. So I drop low and bring the claws up and just grab it by the belly and continuous momentum over my head trying to throw it into the water, but it's it's a little bit too heavy and kind of hits the ground, turns around back to face me, still it, on the attack. So it um, is... Uh, a, do those count as weapons? Did we decide that? Those count as a two harm yeah. instead of one? Yes. So, okay. well, when I clash... Um, oh, no, I do inflict my harm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you do. Yeah, you inflict your harm. Yeah, you inflict your harm, uh, but then pay the price. And you can do that on your sheet. The, it's got the... Uh, that particular move is on your character sheet. Yeah, let's, let's see what happened. Let's too. ask the oracles what happened. Oh, boy. Yeah. Pay the Pay price. The Oracle just oh, loves price. gear. Uh, a surprise development. development. Guess what? <laughs> okay, complicates so, your quest. So this Is episode... anything surprising at this point? <laughs> no, I've, already, I, I've, I've, already, been... I've already titled this episode. It's, this episode happens. is called... That's the surprise. <laughs> yeah, th this episode is called At Risk of Complicating Things. I was no, going to no, say, no. I've been sitting on this so, for a while. It's going to be called It's Complicated. <laughs> it's complicated. Um, so as Gear drives the claws into this creature and uses its momentum to throw it over his head, the claws begin to kind of rip, and the blood that falls onto Gear oh. begins to burn at the pelts and kind of melt away the flesh mm. and the fur. Preventing so you from taking the initiative. I love it. Yeah. And he begins to try to pat it off and rip the furs off of his body. Um, 
right. still being unprepared for the fight. So perfect. So it's you still don't have initiative. It's complicated. Um, next, who wants to go next? Um, uh, uh, well, oh, Bill's hiding behind a tree, so Bill's Karen is coming next. So yeah, if Karen sees, because if she sees the wolf go flying gear through it, she uh, she will then attack. Um, and I'm doing it with range, so it's edge. So I also take the damage from that, or no? Hmm? No, you don't take damage on the, on the weak success. Only on a... So that is a Ooh, strong her, hit. Her yeah. arrow hits the wolf and not gear. It's not clash. Well, she's What's not aiming for gear. Uh, strike. Strike, that's what it is, right. And, and so she'll, she'll aim and then go fire and... Um... Plus one harm. Holy shit, okay. Yeah, and so, so that's three. Yes, yes. Which is uh, six boxes. Which is yeah. six boxes. Yeah. Um, we still so, haven't ended the fight yet. Somebody's got to take the end the fight move. This thing's not dead yet. It fights until we make that move. Yeah. And somebody but has right to have now, initiative. That, that in order move to do is it. Uh, is essentially unfailable. Uh, you uh, yeah, yeah. You tell I, us what I happens. And then uh, she'll aim and she'll hit it. And as it as it his, his gear through him and so she got a shot directly at its uh, stomach and kind of the under belly of it so she was able to aim and hit um, kind of the, this part of the chest area kind of near the clavicle area kind of um, more serious and so she was able to get a cleaner shot at that and that's why it was able to do so much harm Okay, so that makes sense. So yeah, that drives into the wolf, and then, uh, um, yeah, if if you don't mind, uh, Amala, Bill leaps out from behind the tree and attempts to end the fight by grabbing the arrow and going, and having that <laughs> scramble its guts. Uh, so, uh, uh, let's see. It's a decisive action and score strong. So I still have to do the um, the strike. The roll. Yeah. Roll the challenge dice and compare to your progress. So all you have to do is roll 2d10. That's right. Yeah, just 2d10s. And I have to roll not two tens. There's Yeah, nothing can be added to this. Yeah. Okay, so a six and a five. Perfect. So that's a strong hit because our, our yes. challenge We're at six. is yeah. ten. So no 10, longer yeah. in the fight. Yeah. Uh, they are killed out of action, flee or surrender as appropriate, and is your intent. So yeah, I step out from Dead. behind the tree and grab it with one hand and give it a twist, and it starts to resist, and I just grab it with the other hand and just start going... And you hear and all this kind of... Inside, and it's like it's dead, and I'm still trying, and I fight it to the ground, and it's twitching, and I'm still fighting it because. And the, the, <laughs> all the liquid that you're creating is pouring out of the holes in its stomach. Yeah, you're like I mean, it's, like, it's long dead by the time Bill Smoothie. stops wrestling with it, and has probably got some blood all over his stuff too by the time he's done. Just. <laughs> You calm yourself. Right. We won. Right. I got the thing about the tail and start dragging it off into the forest. <laughs> I, I never done nothing like... Oh, you two, you're all... It's all okay then? He's just yeah. holding it off like nothing happened. It, clearly, something was wrong with it, but it's okay. Well, as long as Are there was okay? only one. No, no, I'm not. I just come up here looking for what was making the water all sickly. I never meant to get at. Poor feet could have got at too. Yes, there, there's danger in in these areas, especially when there's no settlements 
created. I know that, miss. I don't mean I have to like it. Kind of no, gathers nobody himself likes up it. a little bit. And, and it nobody likes it. Rubbing the acid off where it's eating away at his bare skin and his cloth. Right then, I guess we're, uh, I guess we're off. Uh, Amala, are you alright? Uh, what? Are, are you okay? Yes. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah, uh, yeah, yes, I am, I'm okay. <clears throat> are you sure? That was rather sudden. I mean, and I blink, there's a wolf, and then an eye blink, and there's not a wolf. <laughs> Tends to Does be it little... always happen that fast? Not always. Um, this one seemed different and ill somehow, whether tainted or not. Some Sometimes it's like that. Amala, what in the hell have we got ourselves into here? That's a really good question. Well, I mean, these two, these two can take care of themselves, right? Speaking of, gear comes back out of the forest without the wolf. Hey. Was it so tainted we were... gear? Yes. I don't want to leave it here if it bleeds into the river. We'll have more problems on our hands. How do you know it was tainted? I pull the pelts off the ground and I show the blood spots where they have eaten through. I uh, hold it yeah, up like Swiss true. cheese pelt. <laughs> yeah, that's definitely. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start calling clear. Brandon that Swiss cheese pelt. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if we get a comment at him. We'll see if he's still I hope, watching. I hope he's watching. Even he couldn't resist <laughs> that. He's gonna have to say something in chat if he's still here. I'm gonna uh, die next Wednesday. Yeah, or either that or our Discord is just blazing On right fire. Now. Yeah. Um, seeing that uh, that the blood had eaten through, she will then uh, Karen will then again look to Bill because she knows he got up up close and dirty with it. Yep. Bill, are you injured? I'm all right, but look at the state of me clothes. And there's a big patch of the bear pelt that, like, all the hairs come off. Like, the skin was tough enough to resist it, but, uh, like, there's a big bald patch. My bear is bear. <laughs> Pay the price. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, then we're just going to complicate shit. And then there's some bleach. Yeah, there's some bleach spots where it touched on the other parts of his clothes, but, yeah. Mostly, he's just pasty white. He looks like he's in way over his head. Just way too deep. And Amala takes a deep breath and... Because and, and, I rolled a strong hand on wit, with wit. So it's kind mm -hmm. of a... Okay. This way. The crows are over here. Let's go this way. I don't see why not. Looks for me. And so we're going a little further up the river. Well, let's. And I think that after about twenty minutes, it's gonna we're gonna find a ford across the river. Perfect. That we didn't know was there. So, at the risk of complicating things, <laughs> now, by, all, by somebody, all means, <laughs> somebody roll the next step of this journey, and whatever we come up with is going to be what we end this night on. Ooh, so somebody turn? roll us a... Um, well, if it's me, Kevin, wits. or Karis, we get plus one to the... That's right. Roll. Oh, yeah, so that you takes me to a three. Uh, sorry, uh, what's, well, wits and plus what is one. it for the journey? Wits. Wits, and we, who, the three that of us can add plus four. one. So. Well, why don't you roll it then? <laughs> as much as I hate to mess with mechanics, let's get a really interesting result here. Oh, oh dear. Um, so that's a weak hit. Yeah, it's at least a weak hit, so... Um... But she can burn momentum to get it strong. Well, uh, no, a weak hit... Well, okay, so... <clears throat> we come oh. up there, we find the ford, and, and except it's pretty wet. 
So if we power through, we can get across without a lot of damage, but it's going to take that. So it's, it. yeah, it's an underwater ford. So we're going to go I with mean, the, like the, the last the, line? The, the rocks are there, but it's... And I've got a lot of momentum. I've got nine momentum. Yeah, so I'm, I'm rolling that too. I'm inclined to but... burn it, burn it, find the way to, you know, find the way across with the minimum amount of touching the water. So we're, if I'm reading this right, then the uh, the move would be uh, under undertake a journey <clears throat> under a weak hit. Uh, oh, no, sorry, this is a miss, but it's kind of almost... No, it would be a strong it's a hit. hit. It's a, a weak hit. It's a weak hit. So, a weak hit. yeah, we reach it, a waypoint. So, yeah, so we get across, but it costs us one supply. So. But if you burn momentum, it can be a strong hit. Yeah, so if I burn... Do I burn two momentum? It's it all up? gone. You have to burn two. Everything. You go I'll back down to two. Momentum. Yeah, if you hit that yeah. burn button at the top, it does it automatically. And you have to reset to two. If you I'm choose. I'm inclined to do that. Okay. I'm inclined to do that. So in that case, uh, if you do that, we don't have to make the test. Uh, we make no. good use of our resources and mark progress. So yeah, we make so our we, way across. So it's like uh, we get it, we get across. It's like I, you know, I've come this far. I'm not gonna. I'm oh. not determination, and and that's you know, I feel like we oh, get you everywhere. Okay, I got it. Us, we. We get to this ford, and normally it's an underwater kind of sandbank that you can kind of cross this river on, and we would have to walk through the taint. Oh. But this cloud of crows has collected sticks and built us like a would-be kind of hop that we can get across this thing. And, and Amala can us. find it. Amala can find it, because she's yeah. in tune with that. Yep. And we, we wouldn't have been able to. So that takes us to six full boxes on our journey towards finding out whatever it is that's at the top of this valley that's causing all this trouble. And now and we're on the west side of the river. We're on the and correct we're side of the right river. <laughs> and we're heading towards this place where the wolf made out of crows pounced on something in the yeah, woods. Lunged. Lunged, lunged at something in the woods while a same or similar group of crows is trying to get you to go in a different direction. So with that, we drag ourselves gonna... out of this creek, shaking the burning sensation off the soles of our feet uh, as we come back, as always, to the end of an episode of Iron Sworn the co-op version with me and my wonderful and unbelievably <laughs> creative friends once again next to me uh, in this box over here we have robin uh playing caridwin oh and uh, we can do this now uh you guys she is uh also known as thunderscape uh, seven, and you can see her Twitter account over there uh, in the chat. Um, what have you been doing just recently? Um, I haven't been posting much because I've been working on a few things that have been either Mercs of Mischief related, <laughs> and I've been working on some things that are Iron Sworn related. Oh, so, oh. Um, haven't been posted, <laughs> but I'm in the middle of them. So keep trying. We're eagerly Wonderful. looking forward to looking that. Looking forward Ooh. to that. Danger. Uh, also, you have, uh, as always, done a huge amount of work over on our wiki. Uh, so that's uh, the list to that is linked below on the panel. So go have a look at that, too. There's all kinds of interesting information in there. And it's being updated regularly every week as we play. Robin, the aptly named wiki master. Yes, indeed. <laughs> uh, next, uh, in the bottom left-hand corner, uh, Kara Sophia played Amala for us this evening and every Thursday. Uh, hit the button, bang. You have many links because you do many things. So why don't you talk us quickly through uh, the, the things, at least the ones that you've listed over there. Yeah, well, so I do both Minecraft and Dungeons and & Dragons, and I have no life other than... Oh. <laughs> Anyways, um... I, I am particularly pleased at my most recent Minecraft video that's out there on the YouTube link. Um, mm -hmm. And 
it's a little more slow paced. Minecraft videos tend to be really fast, 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 fast. This one is more slow, easygoing, and amusing, and I'm, I'm terribly proud of it. So yes, uh, uh, there's, there's a that. lot of people swearing at Minecraft. It's nice to see somebody playing it in a, a positive <laughs> fashion. <laughs> it's it's fun. I mean, because my 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 single player world, the series is called Chilling in Minecraft. Now this was on the Livecraft server, but I'm a chill sort of player. And, and so it's more about my personality. And in this particular one, I sort of demonstrate how to use the villagers to get them in order to use them as a farm. And the villagers demonstrate how to twist me around the bend. So oh. it's lots of fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you. That's wonderful. And then below me, um, we have Austin, who unfortunately, when I do this, there's nothing. Absolutely Austin, you nothing. Austin, got to submit some info. He has he sent does me nothing. a bio. So, uh, <laughs> he has no link. He's, he's a student. You can't he really is. blame him. He's very, him. very busy making his real world better all the time, and ours too, eventually. Uh, In his so, free time, he he carries his group members through their college career, kicking and screaming. Oh, there. We <laughs> Uh, there we go. For projects, uh, he's been waiting a week for that. But there you go. For any of them that uh, here's hoping you told them all to watch. Um, and if not, <laughs> they can catch it on YouTube at Dirty Twenty Gaming. You can show them that link or send them all that link when you next communicate <laughs> with them. <laughs> and I guess that brings it uh, up to me, uh, which is uh, there's some stuff to do here because. I, um, on, on this channel, other nights of the week, uh, I am playing various video games depending on as my whim takes me, but on Mondays, uh, over on the Mercs of Mischief, I play Guy Bonton, the, uh, wizard or warlock of chaos, uh, in our Too Many Warlocks game on Sundays on that same channel, a different group I am not part of, but it's the <coughs> same world, it's just two different groups, uh, they are the uh, the uh, Mercs of Mischief, so we play on the same worlds Monday and Tuesday, or sorry, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I said, because that's when I run Deadlands on that channel as well, so over at Mercs of Mischief. Uh, we are about to do a big season ender this week that has been put off for one week, but it's all coming up again, so uh, that's happening. Thursday next, we'll be back here doing this again. So busy weeks and watch for other stuff in between because I know there's some other stuff going on, but it's for like our patrons over at Merck's Mischief, one of whom is here tonight, but that's for tomorrow night and that's only for our patrons. So you should go there and join our patron, become a patron so you get to see stuff that nobody else does. Mm -hmm. With that, thank you, thank you, thank you. That was one each for you guys. Thank you for everybody that's watching. And uh, if you didn't catch it all here tonight, you can see it all over on Dirty 20 Gaming on YouTube. Please go and support all of these people with all the things they're doing so they can come here and support me in my Thursday night folly. So thank you again. And with that, uh, everybody, good night.